Okay, you're going to learn the whole lot. We're going to learn from one another. Yeah, and before we move on, before we go any further, we're going to listen to you briefly about our WhatsApp group. If you're here, you're already on the WhatsApp group. Let's just, just, just do this. Okay. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. So we were, you know, clamoring for the WhatsApp group. Let's open it. Let's start. Let's, let's get the WhatsApp group. Let's welcome everybody. You know, we need to meet. I was seeing the ginger last week. Everybody was just ginger. WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group. We now finally started WhatsApp group. And I noticed that the energy in the group kind of dropped. Some persons tried. We wanted the challenge. Kudos to some persons who suggested the challenge. Let's put our heads together for ourselves, anyways. For suggesting. The challenge. All right. If you are here and you know that you participated in the challenge that took place for one whole month, the month of September, let me just 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 say what Ah. Okay. If you know you did something, something pertaining to the challenge, just just a bit. Okay. Cool. Some persons. Attempted it. Some persons do not even do not even say them on the group. We not hear your we not hear your voice or anything at all. Okay. So some persons really did well, and uh, I'll just quickly go through what some some persons did. We had I know that um, Chike Chike did not hear. He he tried. He did. He completed. He did four videos. I don't know what happened to the remaining to the remaining eight. So he did four, but he couldn't continue. When we started, I was I was seeing him on my app. It's like, are you guys going to win? It's going to win, you know. In fact, before we go on, let's talk about what we're supposed to win. Who can help me? What's this we are going to win? On yes, on entrepreneurs and NG. I was so excited. Ah, we're going to be profiling somebody's business. We are going to talk about you. Put your picture up, you know. We're going to let the world know about your business and what you do. In fact, we actually profiled business for 150 naira on our. On our platform, yes, 150,000 naira. Yes, that's how much we do profiling, business profiling. And we're willing to you know, open the floor and say, ah, since you have come here and you said you wanted to do this challenge, you're going to give it to you. The ginger rose, everybody will, yes, yes, yes. What so, else? Is, okay, what does profiling mean? What is profiling on the page? What does it mean? So you tell your brand story. Okay. We'll put it up on your business, your, your business name. What's your business name? OS Creations. Okay, so put OS Creations on um, entrepreneurs.ng. We talk about you, we talk about your business, your team, the services that you provide, your pictures of your products, things like that. On what platform? On our platform, entrepreneurs.ng. Okay, the website. Yes. If you want to do that now, it's 150,000. It's not, it's, not, it's not free. So if you want to do that, you're welcome. But it's 150,000 to do that. Yes. So. We said um, we'll get you, we'll give you business for Brian. All you had to do was put in the three hashtags, tag us, and what again. That was basically just make sure you do it and tag us, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so GK did four videos. Um, she also tried. She started, I, I know I've seen three already. I saw three about three already. Then something happened along the way. The accounts. You got lost and all of that. Sorry, sorry about your account. I've gotten the back. Good. Then, then there were some other people who tried. It's a pressure from Tech Points. Did one. Be fact, he used this very place to do one video. And he's not here today. And suddenly, he did not do the rest. He was able to do one. At least he remembered. He showed his face. That was, that was really nice. He actually showed his, his face in the video. And so he also did. How many did you do? You did not do anyone. Okay. So there was a um, Ugochuku Okoro who did one post. So not a video, but he did one post. And there was somebody who did really great. He did, he's not here right now. Ebube. Ngosu, Odo Ebube. He went as, his business name is Coins and Cash. Oh. He went as far as, he didn't complete it sadly. He went as far as uploading 11 videos. He was just going instead back to back, back to back. Up to the last day, I was seriously rooting for this guy. Like, ah, profile, profile, profile. But alas, he did not finish. He did not finish it. 
So for those who did who tried, let's let's put our hands together and say they really tried. So you see the benefit of it was to is to help you get more customers, put yourself out there, people need to know more about your your business, talk about you and all of that. So yeah. So um, we, uh, we, we really appreciate the efforts that they made. So we're going to be going on further now with our, our meeting. Let's put our hands together as we make our call. Oh, yes, that's me. Sorry about that. Yes, let's quickly run through introductions before she comes up. Because I can see some faces. No, just only one face. Though. Two faces, I don't know. Here. Yeah. So. Let's run through the introductions before she comes up. Let's start with you now. Your name, your business name. Yes. What you do and what you do. Yeah. So the people who need you can okay. actually get you out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so my name is William Sishoni. Mm -hmm. Business name is OS Creations. It's a female Afro brand. Then what else? What do we do? We do ready to wear. Outfits for women. Now, apart from that, I do other things as well. Sorry to question. Sure. Let me just say this. 30 seconds. So, in case you're planning to sell your market, <laughs> see. <laughs> okay, so we do wear to wear outfits for women. Now, apart from that, I'm also a lawyer. I do property management. I do project management. And what else? I'm also a caregiver for the elderly. Okay, that's nice. about it. What's your name, my name? Olivia Missy. Show me Olivia Missy. Thank you very much, Olivia Missy. You're welcome. Sir, let's have a phone call. Okay. I'm Landa Yamak. I'm the founder for two companies that have been on Gapo Technical Limited, which is a, a HVAC contracting company. We deal with commercial and industrial supply design installation commissioning the full project life cycle. And the second company is the uh, HVC Marketplace Limited, which is an e-commerce and um, AC materials um, sales. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm Andrew you know, now a fashion designer. I made a shirt for office name. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your designs? Bella Green. Bella Green. Great. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Is this your first time here? No, no, second time. Sorry. My name is Ola Bolivar. Uh, I'm an architect, a web developer, and I run the community of Street. What does Stimulus Street do? Uh, okay, Stimulus Street. Um, Youths, like a community of youths by getting them informed about um, products, investment products they can invest in to, you know, to eradicate poverty. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Sorry. Okay, my name is Francis Sergi. I'm my business name is City Big Shop. My intro bakery, the name of our bread is um, Delicious Sensation. My name is Jennifer Javat, who also is um, my business name is, my business name is uh, Ravat Cleaning Services. I'm into, I'm into cleaning and industrial cleaning and fumigation, pest control, granite and marble restoration. Alright, you're welcome sir. Thank you. My name is Mitsune Osele. Um, my business name is Neil Ventures. We produce uh, cleaning and disinfecting agents, including so toilet cleaner, genocide, laundry bridge, and all that. We also customize them as souvenirs for all social events. Aside from that, I also sell beauty and wellness products. Very welcome. Good evening, everybody. My name is Olu Atoi. Um, I make crochet wear for babies, um, babies photo shoots for babies' birthdays, and I also make crochet wear for adults, women especially. I also sell shoot wear for women. Okay. 
You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So I want to give someone an opportunity to um, market their business for one minute. Who is going to be the local person? Okay. If you can tell me what the young man <laughs> wearing your hat, his name, and his business name is, you get to profile your business for one minute. His name and the name of his business. Okay. I don't know. Don't be exposed to the next person. Okay, no, no, no. I think I remember. His name is Francis. Okay. Francis. Francis. Yes. Delicious sensation. Because of course I repeated it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that would that be nice one. So, please sell your market for one minute. Hmm. OS creation, so I'll, I'll stick with that for today. So we make ready to wear outfits. Outfits that women can wear to church, to work. So one of our major um, points that we focus on is versatility. It has to be versatile, meaning that you can either go to church, you can go to work. So it's not like okay, serious office dress that is so serious. So it's serious, but it's still very funky in its way. So our prices are reasonable. You get good value for your money. And then you save time. You're not thinking of, oh, I still need to give my outfit to somebody to pay for you. Once you have an application, just walk into our store or shop online. The outfits are there. Pick something, and you are good to go. We pay attention to details. So the quality you're getting from us is as good as what you get in the international market. So kindly visit us. We are here in Kenya, number 12 at Nokia and Street in Kenya. And follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. The name is at the handle is at OS Creations. So I'm glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Even though you're not doing any of the challenge. <laughs> because I'll be very easy that this is your handle that has been right on you and your toe. <laughs> Alright. So while you were talking, someone just walked in. Can you just introduce yourself? Even though I know who you are, but introduce yourself. Yeah. 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 Back with the challenge. Oh, okay. yes. But I have to ask, how many did you do? Okay. Um, I don't think I missed anyone in September. Okay, so I have not been able well, to do that. Missed one, yeah. Missed yes. one. Yeah, missed one. Missed one. Exactly. Yeah. Which was a very good big one. I was just saying that I was looking, I was searching. Oh, <laughs> can I find it? Let me find it so that all of you can win this <laughs> thing. <laughs> Alas, I did not find it. That was because um, the last we didn't one. have a physical location where we work. And that, that, that video was about Team team here. Yeah, we don't we come back in a physical location. That was the reason why we couldn't generate a video for that. Okay. So here's what we are going to do for you. What do we do? No, but there was, if you're not doing team bonding, there was an option that if you don't have a team, you could uh, do something as like show yourself in a wow. fun way. I think it was mentioned. Mm -hmm. So what we will do for you, we don't want you to be that uh, you went home after, after trying and all of it and all of it. 
So what we're going to do for you is uh, we're going to we're going to repost your work on entrepreneurs.ng on our platform, on our social media platform. So we post your work, and you also get to no. sell your market. Well, you can sell for two minutes. From what I I saw, you like to sell a lot, so I think you have a great time selling your market. You have two minutes. You have the floor. You can do that now. Okay, you're right there now. Yes. Oh, awesome. Are you want to do it later when the class is fuller? No. Since you since you already <laughs> want it today, right? Yeah? I think that would be yeah. Let's put our hands together for you. The really child. <laughs> Alright. So let's make a call. Alright, All right. let's let me sell my market too. We I think we we've been doing uh Jero, we don't get to sell our own market. <laughs> My name is Florence Tikeze, and today I want to talk about what we do. Do you guys understand what we do? Like, uh, when you come here, what do you think our brand does? So that you are not taking our food and giving it to someone else because we too want to sell markets. Who can tell us what we do here? Okay, well, I think I patronize you in one or two areas. I know you're into business registration. Mm -hmm. And you also have a workspace which mm -hmm. I've used for the meeting, you know. So basically, I think training too, you do training. Mm -hmm. you know, so those are the things. And uh, I've benefited mm -hmm. from some of them. You know, okay. All right, so what we, what we do is that we take the entrepreneur from the idea stage until the point where you are doing well and we also not leaving you. So let's say you want to start a business, you don't know the business to start. We have a library of information, we do some research, primary and secondary research, we come up with business ideas that you can start and it's like plug and play. This is the first thing to do, this is the second thing to do until you finalize and you start the business. As you want to start the business, we have a legal department that will help you register your business. Business name, limited liability company, trademark your business, and also NGO. After you register your business, if you want us to come train your organization, we can execute those training that will help improve your productivity, your team productivity, and also improve you as a leader. If you want to um, really know how to handle your team, if they are working, in differently in different locations, team bonding, collaborations, and strategy of your business, you can hire us to come train your organization. Then we have uh, trainings for entrepreneurs. We have the business clinic. Um, I take on the strategy and business modeling class at the business clinic. And then uh, we have Ayo talking about um, digital marketing and advertising. We also have someone talk about the operation management of your business, that way the operations of your business is going well. We have a renowned customer service person take us on on customer service management, and then the law, uh, legalities of doing business in Nigeria. I have a friend who is a lawyer doing that, and then an accountant. After that, there's one month mentorship where we also give up challenges and make sure that whatever we learn, that we execute. So if you also need business development documents, your business plan, your marketing and sales plan, we help you prepare all of that. So when people say they want to start businesses, they want the organizations to be trained, we are also a business development, um, certified business development professional with Smithen and EDC. So we have the license to do what we are doing. So tell people about what we do, don't take our business elsewhere. This community is a community that we are building to because for me personally I want to also build an audience where we can share ideas. Aside that we know that sometimes funding is not just a challenge that entrepreneurs have because we've had people use that co-working space here and they had money but they were doing the wrong thing and the business folded. So that has shown that funding is not just the challenge. If we know the right thing to do, then 
you can actually survive in business and there are different ways that you can raise money to run your business. That's where we have this community and which we are going to actually also take further and expand. We have yearly events where we have more people coming. So this will help us also understand, just like uh, Olivia was saying, he was getting like market insights. This gathering also help us to understand the core challenges that face us as entrepreneurs. So we then begin to look at the right partnerships to build to help us solve those challenges for entrepreneurs like you. You know, it will also help us to know what actually you need, so that can also help us tell us what our services are, so that we are not doing things that are irrelevant to entrepreneurs. So that's what we do, and my name is Florence Chikese. Um, I'm the founder of Regalia. I'm not able to do any of these things without the help of my team. So last week, we talked about how to attract customers for your business. You know, and um, everybody from their own different industries, they were talking about how they were trying to get customers online and offline, and how they can improve the challenges that they may have. In. And we then decided that, okay, we'll do a challenge, and that challenge is that you post on social media, um, WhatsApp, Instagram, just make sure you do video because are your statistics shows that videos which fit the needs perform better than the ones that don't have the listing in it. And it's very important that you do that because if you are if you are shy, your views are not shy, you don't know who may be watching. You can also say that your business is not on social media, but probably someone has a niece a sister or a friend that could be mentioning something because they've seen you online they will now mention you so it's important and when you were asking about profiling you know a lot of people have reached out to me i don't know them just because they could google and probably entrepreneurs in nigeria my name popped up that's what profiling does Profiling is like telling your brand story just like a guardian or whoever um, trying to Ten more questions to you. Um, what is your name? What is your business about? It's not a question and answer session. It's like an interview. We have an interview with, with you and we publish it. So it's important that this day where there's information overload that you you actually control the narrative. You control what people read about you. Because if you don't tell your story, people are going to tell your story for you, and they may not tell it the way that you want, they may not even say the truth. I used to be like that, I used to say, ah, um, my work will find me, people will see my work and they will know me. Until one day I was interviewing Ayo, and they turned it around that then he interviewed me, instead of me interviewing him. And what happened? I just saw that uh, they listed out, there was a nomination for Eloy Awards in 2019, and they listed out the people that were nominated. So people nominated people, I wasn't aware of it, and they sent us an email, I was like, these people, as in, I don't want trouble, carry your wallet, people, what kind of embarrassment is this? Because they nominated me, and the people in that list, when I checked them out, they were snapping pictures with either Dan Kote or Jim Ovia, all these big, big people, you know? But it was a voting listing, and I won that award, and I'm sure they found me because they could find me online and because I put out what I actually wanted to read, which is the truth. So it's important that we really take charge of how we tell our story. And since then, I've been very intentional on how I communicate the, my journey so far and what we are doing. Because if you don't do it, people are going to do it for you. So that's why uh, telling your brand story at any opportunity that you have is very important. So today we are going to deepen in on how to get customers. Why did we not do the challenge? What is the problem that we are experiencing? And in the course of doing that challenge, what did we learn? What can we be better at? What is the aspect that we have challenge in? I'm also going to share our own. So let's just start from there and start looking at how best, because if we have more customers um, come to our business, then we begin to stop chasing these uh, funders, these investors, and then use that time to really 
dipping down and get our business going right. So what, what is the challenge that we are having with getting customers to grow our business? So let's start. I'm done talking. Remember that our meeting, we don't have moderator. That's what is unique about it. Everybody is learning, we are learning from each other. That's the beauty about it. So, you missed the last section. Yes, I did. I was talking about it. Okay, I think uh, for me, uh, we, um, uh, in my own book, we have a lot of com com competitions. There are a lot of competitions out there. And, uh, being that our brand is a new brand, and so it's difficult for us to penetrate the market. We've done very few months. There are older brands there. People who go to the supermarkets and to other places, they ask for those brands they know. So, but in terms of te the test and the packaging, ours is good, very good. Few people that have tested our products, they, call, they actually call me, you know, um, maybe next time I'm coming, I'll like, bring you know, some of our samples here. You know, uh, but the, the, the major challenge, like I said, is penetrating to the market. Bulk buyers who buy other products. When you go there, they tell you, oh, we already have our hands full with this product, and it's easy for us to market this product because it's known. Your product is just you know, and they want to twist your hand to bring down your price, which you can't, you know, you know. And so those are the challenges. But we're still pushing. We're still pushing. But that's it. So in terms of that, like how 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 are you going to how have you been able to see if you can get um bulk buyers? What are the strategies that you are currently using? Yeah, like, see if you can get both Okay, like uh, I, I meet them one-on-one, -on -one, like uh, most of the supermarkets that take our products now. And then they, they are the ones I met one-on-one. -on -one, it was difficult for them. It was difficult for them to first accept our product until I give them one. They test my product. To go to the glory, most times, not all of them, when they go home, they try my product, they call me. They say, ah, we didn't know your product is that good. I have a particular supermarket now that has stopped. He was collecting from there were four or five brands before me. Today, I, I, it's only me and one of that popular brand. You know, so this, this that's one good story we have, right? Like I said, nobody has tested our bread and not comment and it, So are you not so going to be giving it to everybody to test? Well, 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 Quality in the first place. Okay. It's usually you're fighting user behavior. What you're fighting is user behavior. That's it. Not, not the fact that your product is not good. Let's use a digital product for example. Telegram has all the features of the world. Mm -hmm. But goes to post this to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when they go to Telegram, mm -hmm. they are they're just comfortable where they are. Mm. That's exactly what is happening. But I just deleted my own telegram. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so people are comfortable where they are mm. until they are able to experience that new thing. Before they say, oh, okay, maybe I can give it a try. And it's not just uh, bread, mm. it's all products. Yes, exactly. Right, so, and that's why you then see why a lot of people try to break down that barrier, that barrier of comfort and say, let them try something else. So the easiest thing to, to think about is maybe if I bring down my price, they will try it. But that doesn't lead to a good place mm -hmm. because you will lose. Mm -hmm. yeah, so what people usually do is to then, how can we add more value on top of what this thing is? Yeah. Because people will buy value all the time. So you then see people saying, okay, 
with this product to, to give you additional, maybe they find one thing that is not as costly, they add to it, and then it, it now perceived as more valuable than what they were buying before, which then allows them to try it out. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, so that could be a something you could try out. Okay. You know, with this bread, what can I add to it that makes it uh, to be perceived as more valuable if it's not added to it? it could, I don't know what it could be. It could be a complimentary thing that you are. That's why you see they're selling pack of Indomie. They say they put a extra <laughs> pen, <laughs> and the extra whatever inside. Like, it's because they are having biscuits. Like, you, you, you see, understand. it doesn't cost, it's still the same ingredient. So, you look at it as a marketing cost to help people try it. Because once you help people try, you've already seen the response. When they try it, mm. they like it. Mm. So, your job is how can I make sure more people try it? I think you can add it like, okay, say, buy for your family, your children, then they enjoy cooking, the whole bread for the family. Just the, the suggestion and just add it. Just something to know them. Because I'm thinking if I like your bread, I can't really get it around. I'm not going to wait for you to come and you have to try as much as you get it across around and you need to access it. You understand? So just say you want to particular people and just select the value of the so you said it to if I like your bread, let's say you bring it next week and I like your bread. If I can't access it. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're working towards getting bulk buyers. There are, well, there are distributors in the industry. You know, what they do is that they go to bakeries, they buy in large quantities, some come buy 500 in a day, they go out to distribute. That's why you see that the particular brand, I don't know, yeah. 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 Can I can you employ people? Can you employ people, your boys, that will go and yeah. sell your brand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, we can. We get to see people we buy it. Maybe they want to buy it. Okay, so that's, that's actually what we're working on, you know, getting these bulk buyers, you know. I have a problem with these uh, people on the streets. You know? Especially some of these young girls, they pack your bread, they go keep somewhere, and at the end of the day, they return your bread. You know what I'm saying is, get people that are working for you. Yes, yes. Yeah, what is it? Excuse me, sir. Let me get something What's What's your target market for your bread? Is it, is it general average bread, or is it a lot of bread? Is it? No, it's bread that has. Yes. What's, what's your target market for your bread? Well, my target, it's not a general market bread. Actually. What's the price of your bread? It's 700. Yeah. What's yeah. 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 the average? What size? I don't know, that's the average. That's the average. No, 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 no. What is size? What's the 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 size? the first challenge the size? What's 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 the Looking for bulk buyers, bulk okay. buyers, bulk buyers. Right, you, the, the issue with, with that is your your it's, it's, a, it's a big challenge. Okay. Now, if somebody meets me for me business advice or something like that, it is not the kind of business I would advise the person to go to. Okay. For a very good reason, you're, you're playing what people call the red ocean. Right. So, how, how many people that have been selling that kind of bread you're selling in the past ten years have been consistent in the market? You, is there any brand you've seen 10 no, years of that same size and what you're bringing? Of course. Sorry, general house. Are you guys seeing? Of course. No, no, no. You don't get the point. Is there a brand of bread? Yeah, average price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of that yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not, not you, sir. And you're an expert in that space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your eyes always looking out for bread. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Has anybody here seen? He's very interesting. I just draw my hand. No, brand of bread. The bread was always my hand. Mother feels. We buy it, but bring it to us. I will send them. I will have people that. I will send them. Most guys are not saying it. Most guys are not saying it. Most guys are not saying it. No, it's been business for over 10 years. So it's not selling bread. Can you not selling bread? The brand can change. The brand can change. But bread is bread. See, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. But this is a very simple question I asked. And if the answer was very clear, there'll be no need for back and forth. Is there anybody that's been eating the same brand of average bread for the past 10 years? No. No. That lets you know that it's not money. Even if you have the luck. You buy what is available. That lets you know that even if you have the luck of bringing to the market next year, you're not sure of being in the market in the next five years. Why? Why do you think so? The market moves. You're just giving us a Sir, now there's a reason why it's so. I I feel it's because as an economist. Okay. Now businesses like that run with what you call them um, short-term markets. Reason being that the next brand that will take over is the brand that can that can deploy a lot into you know either getting a either getting those bulk buyers to nice them because they get them at cheaper price, mm -hmm. or they are also able to there's find a way to. No, it's not even distribution, but this one is now in the hands of those bulk buyers, not him. So it's about giving them a massive commission that would underprice you. And you can do that maybe now because you are small. But the next time you want to expand your business, you find out that it's impossible because you're doing the economics of business. It's wrong. The next thing that another new bread business will take over from you and you're out. The real people that are eating big are the bulk buyers, not you. So if you want to do that kind of business, it is not the kind of our advice you to spend any stress to it. Just find the cheap person to do it, give the biggest commission to the bulk buyers and wait till you're out of business. Not wait till you're out of business. That's, that's I, like, I have, I have, however, I think what you're trying to say is wait, is wait till the trend is it's changing. It's against you again. Yeah, yeah, not like that. You're out of business again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out of business again. <laughs> because another thing you could do instead is to find out the brands that you think have been there for a long time, mm. why have they been there? You mentioned Sweet Sensation. Okay. Maybe there are other ones as well. There are so many. Yeah, but you know, you need to find out what are they saying? Butterfield. Butterfield. I have a different view from what I've seen. I've seen it from, I have an uncle that does the ball buying business. What he does is, he has a farago goes, mm -hmm. he goes to a bakery, picks the bread, mm -hmm. I think he gets a commission of 20, 30 naira per bread. Of course. When he wanted to get into the business, he was so excited about it, saying he'll make 30,000 naira per day and all those bullshit. shit. Sorry. And when he was saying no, <laughs> that then he got into the business, but he has found out that the rich also crime. <laughs> what do I mean by that? The first thing is this he's coming to buy from you, he's paying cash. He's taking it to the person that he's selling to. He's not collecting yes, cash. cash. Yes. And yes. value of money. So he has to have. Three sets of three sets to come back from the minimum, because if he's taking to a home just me and he's dropping for supermarkets or wherever he's dropping from, mm -hmm. he's not collecting his money immediately. Mm -hmm. He's also coming to buy again from you tomorrow mm -hmm. yeah, to take to another location. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. And then he's going to come again next tomorrow to buy again. I think that then he will now go back to collect so from the first money. person. Yes. And when he goes to the first person, the first person is telling him that he has used the money to buy other goods based on the customer that came first. Yeah. Because it's a supermarket and so money, is tied down. so money is tied down. So the cycle is expecting to um, run around excellently with it doesn't get to have it. They have their challenges and eventually it's going to finish that money on that business. Yeah. The fact that you have this set of um, off takers mm -hmm. that come, they are set to wind up because the business model they are also practicing is not excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are set to wind up and you start looking for new ones that are interested in the stories that they say that oh you make 39, 29, mm -hmm. my friend, and then they keep getting into the cycle and saving themselves. That is one. The second of it is that in almost every street in the now, you have a mini bakery. Yes. And what entices me to bread, I enjoy having a local man. I enjoy bread and meat. I want to go to buy a house bread. I will not wait for one. I will not want wait for one. Um, bread that is coming from heaven, even if they do it there. I will go to the one next to the church beside my house. 
I'm saying you started bakery in Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Started bakery two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Every other bread I'm eating, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm closed down. Mm -hmm. I go there every morning at 11 o'clock and I buy fresh ones. Yes. So, three streets away from my place, we have another bakery. So it has shrinked the market. It's not a serious reduction, like he says. The third of it is this the price of um, flour oh, sugar, is killing for whoever is involved in that kind of business. Yeah, sure. So, at this point, what I would advise if I were to, because at the end of the day, the reason why all of us are in business is to make money. Yeah. Are there other products that you can do that, that you don't even want to see? Why are you, not to be bread. Why are you in love with bread? Are there other Cookies. products Change. that you can do with flour? Yeah, and you can use the same in, um, equipment that you have, mm. that you can use to distribute, that use the same channel so to get. Um, you have um, Mini Me selling all over now and all these things. It's still the same, you get my point? Yeah. The same flour, the same equipment you have, the same this, the same that. Slight but modification. slight modification, changing that, then push your market. With that, if you can control that you have the, the opportunity to grow is easier than holding close to a problem that has left us. That's what but, but I think I is, is, if, if you look at this product, it seems like they don't have a very long lifespan. I already explained that. You, you understand? understand? Think about the biscuits you used to eat when we were small. None of them. They've changed name, changed name, but we see it biscuits. Same thing with bread. Change name, change name, you see it bread. So you can look at even, even, even sorry, from that lens. Even though it's confused, some of the biscuits that you're changing, yeah. it's the same company. Yeah. 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 They, yeah. they understand the idea yeah. that he yeah. has to give. So if you, like if you have the capital to burn, you can do it. Because again, it works with very, very thin margins. Very thin margins. And you're very susceptible to inflation. And you, you don't control your supply chain. You don't know what you're doing. You don't need control the supply chain, which is why they can easily withstand price shocks. But you don't control your supply chain. It means that for every single thing that changes in the market, mm -hmm. you are being hit. And if you can't respond quickly, a new person that comes to the market takes over your customer yeah. base. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is literally called a red ocean. All this called in business. If you want to play the red ocean, you must be aggressive, you must be on, on data, you must be always willing to get the best. Very liquid. I must be very liquid, like very liquid. super liquid. If you don't have that, mm -hmm. I cannot advise you to be playing in the red ocean. Right. You have to find what is unique for you. There's this girl that started the same. This is okay because they the same small bread that is packaged and has a longer shelf life. They were able to find it like a very niche market. Small bread, a longer shelf life, packaged, and new things. That's, that's, that makes a lot more sense. You get it. They're good at that, that, that stick to a style bread. They can call it food bread, they can call it sunny bread or something, but they say they will style that make it more expensive. They're targeting specific people, right? And they visit these specific stores. Yeah. And those stores are proud to have that bread. Exactly. Then that's the target, target market. So what you have to do is you have to decide what do I want to do really. Do I want to just do business to just make another 13 naira for bread for today? Or do I want to really build you know a long-term brand? Right? That, that, I think that's where you know yeah. the idea comes in for you. Wow. If you have the time to sit with them and try to figure out like, you know really what you want to build with the flower. Uh, so if I would um, contribute my own uh, cover to that. One of the things I've noticed about the bread industry is that people have studied it enough to know that bread is not meant to be your core. It's meant to be a subsidiary. So, yeah. All right, so I always advise people, um, as you go in business and you want to multiply your income, diversify. That. But while you diversify, stay on your corridor in diversification. Seven of confirmed the during lockdown. Seven of started to do hand sanitizer. Seven of bought me company. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, they want to show. Yes, they want to show. Yes, they want to show hand sanitizer. Yeah, so if, if you check the first set of two show, mm -hmm. it was the seven of bottles they used. Mm -hmm. They have water and they have the supply chain. Mm -hmm. you understand? And it's F F F F F F FMCG, FMCG. fast moving customer goods. All right. So the guys that have been able to hold on to the bread industry, they are the guys that have natural shock absorber, and they have uh, what's it called? Um, they have liquid, yeah. and they have a chain of supply. So you notice now that an average supermarket they have big bread. Now make bread. So the big bread, the big sausages, the big no, meat. No, 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 no. Do you understand? So an average bakery they make it. So they have 
a system where they buy in bulk mm. and they don't pay cash. Yes. Do you understand? So they use the same template of okay, give us fifty bags of rice. Uh, fifty bags of rice. Help you. You will pay you in fourteen days, days or for five days. Same, same concept. Woman that sells flour. Do you understand? The only thing they will do is that they will buy in bulk, buy the quantity that will give them that leverage to be able to, you know, um, uh, um, get and pay, pay later. So in that store, you buy beer, you buy pepper, you buy biscuit. And they're working now, you don't smell bread. Yes, and the bread is waiting for you. Your children, that they buy bread. And there's an average family that buys bread like every other day. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the issue of distribution has been dealt with. So what you are giving to people to go and hawk it, it's your own. Mm. All right, time value of money, you are not paying cash. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So as you are selling the bread, you are turning the money back. You are selling the bread, you are turning the, you turn it back for like 45 days before you now and the yeah. cash for flour. In fact, if you check others, others money is on Agile. Yeah. Have a bakery in there. On the road, mm -hmm. you see people walking their, their bread. Their bread. You get what I'm saying? So, it's, it's so the model down. is one of those things that yeah, what what uh, what do you do? What does your daddy do? He owns a bakery. That has is we've gone in, come into our office. Yeah. So I tell people one of the greatest traps you can ever get into is that to say everybody eats bread. Everybody wears shoes. <laughs> everybody, you know, those things that you feel that general public. And they will engage in on demand. Check it closely. That market is heavily saturated and it has become complicated. So you must be willing to understand how it works and what you need to do. So you might need to, you might probably just start to think. Well, you might want to start selling our toy. Yes, send our going. Our going is one. Blanco does that one. Yes, Blanco, yes. Send our going. They have their own they sell have a mad distribution network. Ewa Goyan bread. Just Ewa Goyan bread is. Everybody's there, customer. I think that's like something. Yes. Everybody's there, customer. So you want to Don't be discouraged. No, no, yeah, no. Just, I, what I need in business early is to put sentiment aside. Um, the owner of the owner of Big used to own Phototech. Phototech is photo studios. My brother in law was one of his managers those days. Phototech was known to be a photographer, like the Monkuyibu, mm -hmm. all those days. All right. They noticed that technology was taking the business away from him. At the point, he was going to pull out. He just called his manager that were managing his studios nationwide. My uncle, my brother-in-law was one of them. I told them to buy it off him as a franchise. You understand? They bought it off him as a franchise. When my brother-in-law bought his own franchise, fortunately, he was in Ikejajiare as a job branch when the man made that decision. He built his house in six months after he bought the franchise over. In his mind, so one day he was talking to his wife, nice sister. But why did, what is happening to this man? When his head, we are still making so much money and you are working out. The guy has seen the projection. He has noticed that his income has started to die because of technology. Now he moved into production of Biggie and all of that. A friend of mine recently had an audience with the Baba, Satri Kadigua. And say, Sir, what would you advise me as a professional photographer? Then he asked him a question Do you want to be a successful photographer or a billionaire? Mm -hmm. He said, I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. I'm going to go and go to Nigeria. So they, they said him food. Later on, he said, Don't worry, relax. I don't expect you to answer the question quickly. Because I, 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 I almost fell into that trap. So it was when the technology started catching up with him, then he sat and asked himself, Oh, God, do you want to be a celebrated photographer? That Thomas will say, When I had my first time, I will look up my event. <laughs> you understand? Do you want, is that what you want to be? Or you want to be a billionaire? And his answer was, I want to be a billionaire. And so that was at that point he started to sell out his part and said, Man, this business, you know. Now, it was three years ago, four years ago, my brother in law called me and said, Yo, what is really happening? He made so much money that he moved his family to the US. Do you understand? So he came to Nigeria and sat me that you're an entrepreneur, you're logging home for that matter. What is wrong with the photo business in this country? I said he died the day was so true. He had died. 
So what you enjoyed till now is the remnant the man cannot imagine you'll be still feeding on. So his only remnant to you was a breakthrough. You understand? So I mean, that is where we are. But we'll keep eating bread anyway. <laughs> but it's just how we do the bread business that matters. It's not the fact that people stop eating bread. Mm -hmm. It is how we do bread. Some got my attention to buy your pen, buy your. Listen, the Bible is fast getting out of whatever. Yeah. It then dawned on me that some of the pens I've gotten as souvenirs now are stylus. They are stylus pen. Mm -hmm. yeah, you notice so you I didn't come with them. Yeah, use the back of it for your phone. For your phone, for those mm -hmm. part. So it means that soon you won't have reasons to be using by one paper again. Uh, like, 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 have you written for continuous 10 minutes? You now. You you know, you know, you know those days when we go to school, when we go and write our results <laughs> in school. The first day I saw someone who was a board, a notice board of about the details of a particular event. The guy just got there. You know, people went there and they were my, my own detail. The guy just went there and took a picture. That's the first time. That was like that was like eight years ago or ten years ago. The guy just went there. I said, "Excuse me, excuse me, please." And he left. In my head, I said, "Ah, who told you?" You understand? So these days, he said, "Look, this is the detail." I mean, give me my phone. You get, you just snap and move on. Exactly. You get all scream out, "Kaka!" And you move on. Or you scan. Or you scan. You go, you go for lecture on lectures. Is you want? They want to take questions. You don't write anything. You just scan it. And type of questions. People are now even become, become so like care code. Cool. Mm -hmm. your, yeah, your, your Instagram page. People are even tired now to enter. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Is this you? Is this you? Where is your big uh, care code? We don't know. You just can't ask us. Stay there, follow. Wow. End of story. So, sir, we'll keep it in great. <laughs> but the, the, the model, I mean, that's where sentiment does not set in. Someone was telling me, you said, I think it was my wife, I was saying that. Ah, this man, no. ah, this man is a good man. No. He has helped people. He has a brother. He was one of our cousins. For like five years, she didn't get a job. She started to do. She first worked with uh, a Ponzi scheme. Uh, one million of my money went down with that. A Ponzi scheme. The guy came up with Ponzi scheme. So the guy, she was one of the marketers. She made it when the thing went down. So she now started, opened a business center or more than two or three years mm -hmm. so you pay you and you know then she had chin chin she was selling chin chin drinks. on the side she was selling uh drinks granot, 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 granot. Yeah, exactly mm -hmm. coolie, coolie, when you want to do party one day i sat down because i always encourage her and i noticed she started turning over like three four hundred thousand every month and in the process she got a job with fcnd as customer service so, so, so. Now she has shut down the business. So it was the shop is owned by my mother-in-law. So I was driving past one day recently. And I asked her, this shop is always locked. I said, man, level has changed now. <laughs> the level has changed. So they did a downsize at FCND. And she said, God forbid. I said, okay. <laughs> You'll be shocked that the God I say is forbid. <laughs> the MD will be at Kenan uh, Land. Or we have some camp. What is the tell you see? Downsize now. <laughs> <laughs> he said no, she said the link that she came that she used to get into okay. uh, FTLB. That person will defend that. They will just have the person. You see that you go or she goes. <laughs> Do you know I mean it's not sentiment, it's not about Naira. And come on, we are entrepreneurs, we know what we face. I know what I face this week. Do you understand? And so when we get to the point where we've we've got into the top of the ladder. And we realize that for us to stay on top of the ladder, we have to push some people down. People that we have employed. I would downsize. I would downsize. I always look for opportunity to downsize. Why? I want to maximize profits. I'm not how to be blagging. Um, I have over 500 people on my payroll. Who cares? I don't want payroll. Uber, how many staff does Uber have? Yes, everybody use Uber one way or the other. Do you understand? So, that one that may leave emotions, then do business, let's make profits. Or we go. I'm sure we have helped you now. Yeah, Alright, so who has another who wants to share the challenge they had? 
I'm telling you, don't remind me. No, we're getting customers. We're <laughs> getting customers. Yeah, I have. Hmm. So I saw Thrift West, but I just realized now that you see the market so saturated. You saw what? Thrift. Thrift West. We always. We was Thrift West. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, that's the problem. You see now, we are struggling to know what you say. That's not the first problem. It's costing. I know. This is what I mean. I know. This is what I mean. I know. Everybody knows. You will go to Yaba, Katagura, Kaswani. That's what I mean. I'm not saying that. You go to this. Now, who be you to buy? Yeah. But the truth will never be buy. Now, those who don't go to who be. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. You come bring a hand by ground. You come call our truth. You don't go back to me too sharp. I get it. 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 Stand out, yeah. and I'm a bit confused. So I will need ideas. Can you say something? Yeah. Off to my sure. yeah. 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 So this is what I want to say. Okay. So this last week, I was packed a heritage that I wanted to run some ideas to. So I run rentings, right? And um, one of the things that we wanted to do was fashion rental, right? But I also recently changed my mind. I decided that we were going to go. Vehicle rental accounts for about 95% of our revenue. So you can't argue with that data. We need to be in the vehicle rental business almost 100%. Yeah. But there are opportunities that we see. And I'll tell you for free part of the opportunities we see is fashion rental. But the way we're going to structure fashion rental, we decided it would make sense for us to spin it out as a separate business. Right? Especially because most of us want to go 100% on what's it called, vehicle. So interestingly, you see this with our business, is where I'm coming to. But I'm going to use technology, and I'll tell you how. Everybody in this room has clothes in their wardrobe that they do not know what to do with it. We end up giving up most of it. Right? Or we we'll show it to you, or we we'll give it to benevolent department in church. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build a solution that allows you to do three things. You can thrift it. You can sell it and give the money to charity, or you can donate it. There's a company called Poshmark in the US. They just sold for $1.2 billion last week. Second hand clothing. It's a marketplace model. So while you are trying to do one to many, you are doing everybody to everybody. So it's not a saturated market. It's how you are paying it. So I, I, I tend to know someone that has done what you said, what she does. And if you are So what she does, if you want to if you want to uh, declutter your what, 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 what she does, she'll come there to pick and you will sell. She will huh? sell. I think it was last year, she actually stopped doing that. Started buying you know, new clothes, and over time during the December period, she would give out the ones that she was not able to sell the previous year because her shop was getting. And my thought was, for her to do that, she wasn't making a lot of money. Hence why she had to move from doing that, selling you know clothes that do the wrong ones, discounting people's clothes. Something. But it's not the same thing. Yes, as sorry, what it's I, I get what you say. I get it very well. And I've done marketplace before, and I'm not the biggest fan of marketplace in Nigeria. So you might need to ask your friend what happened. Because the truth is that technology is just technology. The business is still important thing. So if your business model will not work without technology, it will not still work with technology. Even though it looks like it works for a while, in the long term, it's going to fall apart. You get that. 
So I'm better if people don't market this in Nigeria, and that's largely because of the logistics factor. Okay. And that's yeah. that already the trust issues, but that people want to price stuff, and then um, the thin margins again. The thin margins is a very big issue in Nigeria because we're all prone to inflation, we're all price sensitive. We get. You can still do one to many and make a killing in it. You really can do that. But you must really need to think like a startup. Don't think like an SME, like a small business. Don't do that. Right. Find out. I, I, no, 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 I, I, these days, I really want to run businesses. Maybe don't just do Instagram. But we don't do tech. Like, oh, so just do fintech. Right. Nobody's thinking about the chain store model, the availability, you know, the real distribution model. But it's like you're available in so many places at the same time. I said, like, people are not thinking about the activation model. So, you're doing time activations, you can ask us to try You can ask for the shape. I think that I think okay, I think for instance now is he asked oh can I buy cars online in Nigeria? Then you yes, we have cars for supply, what to check, right? But really if I go to um Shaki today, Shaki New York State, I can't buy Shaki 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 today, I can't buy cars online for cars for supply. When you call them and ask them why they tell you we have not activated Shaki. Together. What that means is that they're, they're not fully technology, they just want to amplify what they do. So what do they do? They go to a town, they survey the area, try to estimate the demand in that space. Then they get partners on ground to help their business model. Then they work with them, then they have point men in those places to ensure that distribution works in that locality alone. The same as your POS model. Yeah, typical, a typical POS agent cannot go from Ikeja to Yama. They have to stay in Ikeja. That, that activation being done. It's the same way all these uh, fiber cables work, fiber one and cool. Fiber one is in Lagos, right? But you go to some parts of Lagos. So that's what you should look at. So first, I'll say you should talk to your friend, find out what happened. Then really think about your business like a startup. Second, one issue you know that second hand um, market is very it's very broad. It's where a lot of us, it's where I will still buy from. So that we still buy from, right? And this is a people are trying to figure out quality with um, the right fashion, the right uh, you know, fitting, and the analysis time as well. Some people like going to the market anymore. I don't like going to the market. I don't like the way it looks. Right? Some people don't like the market because they don't have the time. So you want to really figure out what the market is. Then structure the business like a startup that leverages technology. That way you get to see new opportunities. So you now trust it on me and Instagram vendor. I don't know um, when people can do the show. I get that. Before you go to the app, figure out how you want your business model to work. I tell you, give me a case part of the phone that's actually me. You really go and code your website or use an app. No. The thing you think about, what makes something a startup is that you can scale very fast and you, there's a massive opportunity on the upside. Right? That's what, that makes it, that makes it start of a startup. For instance, now taxis are everywhere in America. I mean, there's, a, there's a big business for transportation or chauffeur driven transportation on a rental basis, right? But what made Uber Uber is the fact that they were able to figure out how to turn that into a technology business and a startup that can scale fast. The market already exists. It's an opportunity for you. A brilliant opportunity. What you have to figure out is how to turn all of that into a product that people would love to be associated with. I mean, rich people now take Uber, they are proud of taking Uber. When Uber started, the government says we're a rich man to use Uber. So the normal thing was to have their own driver, or was like they have their own Uber. Or rent a car. Or rent a ticket. But after a while, it became like a really dope thing because those were like lower class. They were not able to look like they were in the middle class because they were able to get an Uber right That's how much you can make it fanciful to own a car. And you don't need to use nice family English or streets. Okay, we can all like no, no, bro, 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 bro. Depending on the market you want to sell, if I sell it on Instagram, nobody will go on Instagram from your Instagram. No, not Instagram. I didn't like Instagram. I'm, I'm left Instagram. I'm not saying. I left Instagram. I left Instagram. The last thing has to match the other. Except you use portable as your banner. Leave, see, leave. Forget Instagram. Like, you really have. I'm not going to take. I don't know too much. But the biggest market for fashion in Nigeria currently is Instagram. It is. I have a million. Within the target market that she wants to sell, she may not be showing me. She may not be selling to not see more. That she may not sell it to the people that have just just as kids. If you look at your 
So you just assume completely that there's a particular kind of clothing item you really want to sell, and because of just Instagram, you just know. You should spend more time actually. Because my market is majorly online. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I know, I know. What I was saying that, sorry, just a minute. What I want to say is that what you're looking at that can scale fast. You want to spend more time researching those opportunities. You must also go online and check other countries. See if there's something similar that happened somewhere. And see what the what the target market was. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the name aside, you can still use it if you want. No, I've already okay, sorry. But first find I've already like, started the business. Okay, I just feel at this point it's so saturated. And um, the way you are so the question is the question is this. Can you niche down to that's the point. Can you can you do okay? Everybody is selling in fashion, right? Which area of fashion do you think? Yeah, you know where this will be. So you know where this will be. You'll be surprised that somebody is selling only shawls or what? There's a job that does work on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can sell the shawl and you can sell the shawl and you can sell the shawl and you can sell the shawl. That's very big. All she does is work with. That's an example of niche things. So they're looking for work with. They're likely going to go and look for. And what she does is, I can't remember how I handle that, but when you know, if you remember, you have beauty for your own way. When you dress up every morning, they take their work with pictures and they tag her handle on Instagram. So she started by even first of all, even just reposting people that tagged her online. And they thought she would make a campaign. She, she had this truth for her shit, and then she, she, she sells truth for, for strictly work with. Yes, and so, so those are, those are the points yes, yes, yes. because in that red ocean, like we are all saying, there's a group of people to reach that. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be just another person selling back. You're competing only on price. Yes. And that's the worst thing to compete on. Mm. Yeah, and also, let me add, let me add this point. Yeah. You know, one of the things about the Okika market is, in, is the fact that there's no consistency. You, you sell what you have, you sell stock. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stock. You sell stock. You get, it's what you have. So if I buy from you and she will seize it on me. So it might end with me. Do you get I might even be uh, I might not be encouraged to tell people where I got them. Because people start like, you don't want to do. No 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 no. I'm even talking about guys that I'm no 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 I'm even talking about friends that I'm free with, that I'm down to end with. Yeah. Do you get? So you notice I'm not coming back. So it might just be a one-off. It would always be a one-off. So you have to go and look for another person that would like the collection you have. So that niche for me really works. You might just want me to be doing white, grey and black joggers. There are people that sell only jeans. Yes. They are jeans. Oh, yeah. That's what they sell. They just collect jeans and, and exercise. And most times you just buy jeans. Is it my feet? Is it skin feet? I patronized um, one of those platforms online. For um, footwear, canvas, for my gym, for gym, canvas. And um, the way it works, the girl only sells, she only sells um, footwear. And she only sells canvas, trainers, and, and that's all that she sells. For both male and female. When I got to the gym, it was someone from the gym that recommended her to me. Now, I had to follow her, then she told me to take my time and watch out for her posts and the likes. And by that, I got what I wanted. Now I've seen something I still want today because of the fact that it's only true and she's not clothing my deal with unless I So, in that, in okay, that focus is key. Focus is key. And I think you also have the skill around crochet, which you can add to whatever it is you're making. I can also make it stand out a little bit more. Because of that challenge of you sold this thing and you don't have it again. But if you have that your signature crochet that you're adding to whatever it is that can make it stand out, remember everybody just wants to be unique. Mm -hmm. Right. So it could be an additional factor that you have. And then start the training business. Let's come and learn crochet. And they'll be crocheting on top of your yes. and you'll be buying that. That's the second good. line of income. Yes, beyond see training, a lot of people don't understand that training just makes you become a voice in your industry. I'm telling you, bakery, do training for bakery. Mm -hmm. Then we come and learn how to bake whatever, whatever. Instead of make it. They will begin to buy flowers from you. And do. Buy sugar. And what do. Buy sugar. You already have your market. And, and do online. Do online. Do I mean make it very interactive. Do online. Do you know why? 
It's only people that are Japanese. Mm. Hmm? They will eat when they get there. Uh, my neighbor will get my, my, my neighbor left four weeks ago. He spoke last week. I said, "Go, Alpha." He said, "You believe me." He said, "His wife that used to be nonchalant. Husband does everything. She just has a shop." I told my wife, that woman is just playing that shop. She's so serious. I heard her talking to her and she said, ah, this shit will be too much. So, if you do this, train him training so that I can break, whether a guy or a lady, I can break from him. Mm -hmm. Nigerians will always not break anywhere. It's very really easy. You can give it the gift. They will be go to the Do you understand? You just, you just call it a gig bread. Training on how to make a gig bread that brings back good memories. Original. Do you understand? Okay. Then now you find that person that can help you teach on your same platform that will teach a word going. How to make a word going right in the school. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people can take these courses, you know, and make these things and sell to neighbors in the UK, in Canada, and all. But you, you see, Nigeria's not evil. You are the ones that are remaining. That's great. <laughs> for now, for now. For now. Say it. For now. Next week now. Next month. You are the one that is not evil. No, that's not my brother. You're not going to be lost. Where are you, brother? Class four. 82 families. 80 people in the class in the UK. In my church. 80 people in the class in the UK. 85. Class four. 90 years. <laughs> for, see, for me, those things, for me, those things are beginning to help me to rethink my business. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the thing that the people, the generation that are moving up more than the generation that were we born here and are grown here. So whether I like it, they will miss hope. Mm -hmm. They will miss hope. They will miss your product. They will miss your jollof They will miss your bread. Do you understand? You know, they will miss your shoes. You know, you think that shoes are good. I mean, their shoes are good. Some customers will just come in from the booth. They'll send me one old shoe. But I can't find it again. I want this, this type. You know, I'm not found it there. I know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You know, for some of us that we are not thinking of leaving. For now. For, no. <laughs> no. Maybe we go hard. We go hard. This really happened to me every day, go hard. I just go back, I go back from Ghana, because you go hard. I'm telling you, because people are suffering already. We should have a day with this cause that Japan. Wait, was our first topic? What's your first topic? Yes. Today? No, 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 yeah. 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 Do, you, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Is it's, it's affecting it's employee motivation and commitment. Exactly. They are all. They are taking some time to look for job options. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Someone said, "Be careful of their job. You do not." The first person that you don't know if I have bought his ticket. He's not looking for money for the job. Yes. To collect people's money and Someone told me. Yeah. So, everybody is a job. The first person that collects them, they travel. Second month, pay money now. I'm not going to be Canada. 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 No, because really, those things are very. And I've seen people shut down businesses. They shut down. I mean, when I mean shut down, uh, recently, one of our friends. In um, um, in cure 35 million on moving his wife and son to the UK to study accommodation, flights, pay for masters, everything. 35 M, and was offered to buy a house for 40 M. That's a period. Okay. So he took expenses, the current expense over an asset. Do you understand? I mean, so is Nigeria that bad that you will not spend 75 million? 35. 35. So, as it, the day we started, I said he's looking for money. He's looking for 
Okay, he didn't go. He has not gone. He's going with them, he will come back. He will come back. But when he's pressured, I have to say pressure over him. It's pounds. They're going to be changing to pounds. And I'm not sure the guy has any income that comes in forex. I keep telling my wife, I cannot see me. I cannot die for my time. I can't be hosting there and be changing to pounds or dollars. Do you understand? People have had stroke like that. Yes. Guys, suicide. Yes, full of pressure. You've collected people's money. Until. Exactly. Some people's life has been collected. It's not good. What about you? I'm not moving to South Africa. Okay. The truth. One of my. We've been got here, one of these days. But one of my friends, you know what? She was very good. Because he said, the only thing I can say about Japan, say me, I go with bats, where you did you go? He said, we go in, say that you are going with bats, I will come back with bats. Say, I can go with bats one. You can go with bats one, I come back with bats two. You can go with bats one, I come back with bats nine. It depends on how well you wake up. He left, he said, he left with 100 pounds. 10 years after. He came back with 100 pounds. My God. Wow. And it was earning 3,600 3, pounds every month. Was like, it police Like three or four. He did police officer. What did he not do? Just, uh, uh, see one of them. Employees, mm, I don't argue with employees, there's really nothing you can do. Yeah. So, someone that is a career person that has a job, mm. so in his head, you can plug into that system. You know, I mean, job, you get it, you see, plan your life. I have some friends to see you next year. Ask him, I told him, hey, why I see you? I see you. I see you. I see you. You know, buy one plot, buy one plot, buy one plot of land in Norway, why you're in America. They start to build small, small. When they're buying everything now, the currency is uh, it, it's uh, getting uh, stronger. So you can buy in Aja. Aja, Aja. You trade, man. My help. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say. So again, if friends that are entrepreneurs that I'm close to, I make it a topic and we discuss it and we analyze it. You understand? We analyze, we look deep into it. One of the things I will always tell everybody any day right now. You need to look for ways to start making forex. Forex? Yes. Any foreign exchange. Any foreign exchange. Foreign exchange. If it means that you look for a way to get into any of those countries and you start to make homemade, homemade bread, do you understand? So that you are sure that on a daily basis, on each bread, you are guaranteed of a profit of one pound, two pounds, three pounds. You create a system. You know, you can just think about it somehow. I uh, you understand? So what we should be thinking about right now is not relocation, it's globalization. How do you how do you how do you stay in Nigeria and make things happen? In the I was in Ghana recently. I found out that I can make more money selling my shoes in Ghana than Nigeria. It's ten Ghanaian CDs to one dollar. And I saw some shoes. There that they're paying as much as forty five dollars, fifty dollars for. I mean they're they just not you get what you get what I'm trying to say. So what is setting and there's any bank in Ghana, I have a dumb account with any there's access bank in Ghana, I have dumb account in uh, access. So you know the transactions you make in those places it's easy to so if you get into Ghana and you want to do a specialized Ghana bread, so we should look beyond Nigeria. Rwanda is there. Kenya is there. There are lots of African countries that are quite stable in terms of economy. So I know what, what, why my last trip to Ghana was really part of Nigeria. I met four smart, different people, smart Ghanaians, and they say, you Nigerians, we give it to you. Mm. Except, so, say, except you guys don't want to do anything. I was feeling like a, you know, my friend, as in, as in, yeah, yeah, this is my friend from Nigeria. Yeah, this is my Nigeria. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's my dude, it's my, it's my guy. Yo, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, it's, instead of you thinking, you can globalize into Rwanda, globalize into Ghana. Yeah, for instance, I heard Accra, Nigerians, 
like 80% of the properties in Akka Ghana has been bought over by Nigerians. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say? So, I mean, I mean, UK, what is there in the UK? I want mean, to go and start shoe business in UK. Where do I want to start? I meet with King Charles. Go on certificate. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, Nigeria, the opportunity is there. If, it's, if there's no opportunity in Nigeria, they won't buy um, delegate for $45,000. You get, forget about the, the economic uh, whatever. Abba does not even understand our economy. That's all. <laughs> okay, so, um, Ebube, uh, we did a challenge where we uh, inspired everyone to post about their business, do videos about their business for one month. Um, he missed just one. If he didn't miss one, he would have gotten to profile on entrepreneurs.ng which costs 150000 for free yeah. but because he missed one you get two minutes to talk about your business to everyone okay but he missed one I'll be nice now yeah. it's just one that he missed now it's <laughs> <laughs> just one a great uh, limousine for me for free <laughs>
you know, all of those things will be helping you out. And sometimes it becomes when your capital is tied down because you are giving out bread and then they have to wait for people to sell, I need to produce more. You might need to put a core revenue financing or short term overdraft. That kind of solution was provided for our customers. So that's what we're working on right now. So if anybody who's interested in being a part of it when we launch out, um, I'm here so you just send me the details and I'll keep you in touch once it's out. Okay. Thank you. 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 That's what I said. Like it, it looks like it, but it's not going to be like. No, 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 it's not going to look like that. It's not going to look like that. Yes, we will have to do that. How or what platform? Is it a banking platform or something? How do I send my money to your address? Sure, we'll put you through that. The real question is. Can you start having my money? How do I send my money? The real question would be. You as a business now, you know, already making money, see yourself going to the level until you need someone to help you get receive your payments in different currency in one platform. At the same time, handle your business, not personal now, your business savings and investment platform, and where need be, get access to short-term financing for your business. That's where it comes. So, so I'm thinking. Um, what do you say? I mean, it, it, it looks like a very needed product, right? But forgive me for what? Please, go ahead. Um, business owners are very sensitive about that. Oh. Like, like, yeah. I said that again. And, yeah. And the fact is that a lot of your customers would already have business bank accounts. They already have a way they are collecting their money. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the question would be, why do I need it? Right. So I'm thinking that perhaps the gap that is there in the market is one of a knowledge gap, mm -hmm. not really one of an implementation gap. So maybe an easier way to start off would be to then come to them and say, see, this is how we can help you save better. This is how we can help you collect money from abroad. This is how, so if you are a knowledge a business that is helping them, not necessarily saying, come and open an account, but ah, uh, come, oh, I'm already collecting money. But how can you help me? This money that I'm already collecting, wow. make it make more sense for me. Yeah. Because that would be a less frictional way to get them yes. to use you than for you to say, I ah, see my app, open an account. Ah, you know how many mm -hmm. corporate accounts I have? Mm -hmm. And then maybe as an added um, benefit to businessmen who also, like you said, we. We are very serious about our money. Well, you understand? One, one of the challenges we have currently uh, is payment solutions. Mm, yeah. Because since you are doing financial solutions, mm. so maybe if you can also, I was reading up about one today because I just I saw a friend's tweet about ah who can help me on this, this, this. So I started telling us about some other options that I've seen that I've also used. And as I was doing that, I was just browsing on Facebook and I saw another payment solution where you can pay, you can pay for your Amazon, can pay for all those things that we're having issues with. And they are offering a card, a Visa card or MasterCard. So I began to read all the reviews and people asking questions. I screen grabbed it and I sent it to her. People asking questions and they're quite legit, you know. And um, they are they are offering a solution that is hard to come by right now, even though it's a bit. Um, some of the charges yeah. are there. So, but people have concerns. Are you sure you will not stop after one month? Exactly. After three because months, like matter. Will you. With their battery, like battery stop. stop. So they are giving answers. So think about the best yeah. 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 so, yeah. yeah. so, yeah. this forex show. Yeah. Think yeah. about yeah. the best So, yeah. so yeah. I think that's where you might be able to really get yeah. to yeah. the market. Yes. market. Come as a service provider, not a platform. Because people are just so very 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 careful main solution. I mean, it's in, in fact, I've signed up with Plasha. <laughs> I've signed up with Wallet. What's I've signed up? Them? All of them mm -hmm. will work because we do a lot of wow. transactions in dollars. Mm -hmm. The thing, the only thing that works now is the GT Bank dollar card. I have to go there and collect the dollar card. And whether you like it or not, those institutions they are all over. 
Why so it works. works. Yeah. It works. You know, so if you are able to help people get to solutions that are bankable and are work, trust me, you're going to get a lot of customers. And then, based on that success, maybe you then start building out. Yes. Otherwise, it's just going to be a very long winded process and you get no, no, no success. So you raise money, Sean. <laughs> it's been taken. Yeah, it's been good. Everybody has their dog. Off your mind. Off your mind. Why do you raise money? They do good. So, sorry. They love food. So, the bad thing is knowledge, knowledge thing. We're, we're, we're really good to work on that. And, and knowledge and content is my my, strong, my forte. Oh, okay. I've been reaching out to a lot of people and asking questions. For, for, the, what, what was unique about what we're doing is the fact that. Is the bonding part because it's a typical um, business model. What do you mean by bonding? Bonding is the fact that you might have like about 50 fintech apps on your phone right now for different things in finance. It's what we do most for business owner because you're a business owner, you're not just a regular consumer, right? So you want to have things that, like I said, banking. So, hold on. We're all business owners. Yeah. So it's good to always, it's nice not to make assumptions. Okay. So then you should let's say this you have 50 apps on your phone. So 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 don't create a problem that doesn't exist. There are people that says it. That problem we just talked about. I don't have it. It doesn't have it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Now what is the number? What I think that people use. Don't create a problem. What I what I think that business is. So I have my corporate account. I can open it, transfer money to whoever. I can receive money. If I want to save, I have another corporate account. Ten percent of whatever you, you just can be a personal business decision that ten percent of your revenue goes to another corporate account. Yeah. That can be your personal, and that's where you can you can teach people. Mm -hmm. Nobody would say no to learning that from you, okay. right? What else do I need to do with my business money? If the only other challenge is okay, I want to collect money from customers outside of Nigeria. Yeah. This is a problem, know, right? Salary yeah. over here. Sometimes people that have it. It's one thing, you know, because you find yourself people. fighting with systems that banks already provide. For instance, if I want to do payroll now, and I have maybe hundred staff I want to pay, the bank already has a solution for that. Yeah. And those are the challenges that the business owners have that you are trying to solve. So maybe not sit and think about ah, let's create problem or solutions to problems that don't exist. Go talk to the customer. All the people are business owners. Do a survey with everybody and ask them what are the challenges that you face, so that you are actually solving problems that exist, not creating a solution to a problem. That does not exist. Because it's very easy to do that, especially in tech. Yeah. You know that is a brilliant idea. Yeah, you start looking does. for nobody, nobody problem. Nobody does that. Nobody has that problem. You understand what I mean? That's what I think. Okay, so. I, I was thinking, how do we get, we are thinking about getting customers, um, how do we get to work with corporate organizations? Sorry, ask me. Okay, so the topic is, we are still talking about to get customers and diving deep into how can we get to work with corporate organizations. So let's say for instance, we want to work with banks now. How do we do that? Is there someone, Beard? Yeah. You, how do you get corporate customers? Okay, okay. Sometimes it depends on the structure of what we do. Because, for example, as the HBC contractor, who are my clients? Sorry, please. please. Bring you down. What's air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning, contract, ventilation, air conditioning. Oh, we didn't go to school. So the first line of my client list is MMP consultant, that's mechanical, electrical, plumbing consultants, followed up by architects, where developers, and um, maybe sometimes some financial sectors. So oftentimes the the where I start from is always old. who are the who are the MEP consultants that are the largest jobs in Lagos, you know. And my kind of my kind of what I do based more on more more on experience, so your past projects, your reference sites. So once we have the young profile ready, walk up to mm -hmm. sorry, how do you to chicken and egg? 
how do you, I'm new in the business. Okay. You can only get jobs based on previous sites. I don't have a previous site. No, I, I, I get it. No, 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 like, it depends on the business you do. No, I'm, I'm you saying, can't start I'm with, like well, you can come into MEP, uh, what's it called, uh, field, without being an understudy of somebody. You can't start out by yourself. So, which is a great way. So you have to be an employee first in the company, work for a couple of maybe five years, get the experience before you can branch out. Right. Yeah. So well to do that I've already had is a, a some network, you know, you have your peers, you have guys like headers to you, you have guys coming under you. So based on that, but you don't focus for example now, I don't focus more on architects. Because architects are like, yes, they are the first people that get to do their project before any fiscal block is laid. But they don't have full control on who gets the job. Yeah, so you know, because the consultant is the one who's going to do the first design concept. And oftentimes, you know, why the guys like, they have more leverage on who gets this particular job. But the architects also talk to the architects because they are the first to know. So as the place is kicking off, about far, they need to be happening. So they, they need to talk to that person, to that consultant. You must go to that consultant. Now, due to the fact that, and I was step one thing, always document your journey. People are watching, short of which sense. There was a time I stopped posting on my WhatsApp for like a month. People reached out to me that I hope everything is fine. These are guys, because I, I post a lot of educational information on my WhatsApp. I, I, I do some, what's it called, some free training and stuff like that. But I never knew people actually watching. So people look at the status, people don't, so people don't respond. But actually people are listening, they are watching, they are reading. And sometimes they will screenshot and send to us. I'm not so they just switch out that you're and not so you're posting a month, hope everything is fine, everything is fine, just taking a book. You know. So when you document those journey, they see that project when it started. You saw it two years ago when it was at the foundation level. Now you've commissioned the project two years. So the consultant already you knows that guy's capable. So by the time we now met up at the conference, I'll go for the boy, that next job. Just give me a yeah, you collect the number, send to him. So oftentimes it's about networking, going to the right conferences. So it depends on the industry, the listeners. First of all, get the right skills. Have physical proofs, uh, what's called success stories that people can see. You know, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, depend. Like, for example, I do more, I use more of Instagram, so more of LinkedIn rather, followed by, I used to use Instagram back in the day, but recent, you know, then more of Twitter, then my WhatsApp status. But I find that start WhatsApp that it was only people that already know me. Exactly. So, which is why I'm not doing more of Twitter. And LinkedIn, you know, so they can get more oh, new people to so also come into it, you know. And even based on that, you also find that there's a new because of that because of my stay in the industry, I found that there's a new problem which will also not create another company. Which is what was moving me to the question you raised at that time that you don't like marketplace. Like, why don't you really like marketplace in the sense that I look at my industry, if you want to get if a new project comes up now. Maybe I buy this um, AC material, AC equipment from Samsung. The materials needed, you need a copper pipe, you get from Butimeta, you need to get drain pipe, you get from um, Lagos Island, Kibu, I get from Oshodi. Like the materials are scattered. And for each material, I found that when I first I like I said, I've done everything. Tech is good, but the business of tech, you need to know the business that's not wrong before you attempt to go your tech around it. And I've actually worked around most of the markets over the years. There are basically few importers. The other shops, they are just guys that go there and collect. They collect and sell. You know, these are guys that tell I thought they had the shop, but after a while, I found out, oh, this guy is not going there to pick it up as well. Now, due to currency fluctuation, most of these vendors are no longer offering credit facilities. Because before, I collect material back, you know what, I give in, in, three, in one month or two months' time. They don't value that. Now, the time it says, now they took those first fluctuation. If I have a new project now, I need to do pricing. I have to call like 10 vendors for me to be able to do a BOQ. And it takes time. Because they think I would like this to be in the hurry. Like they give you a, a BOQ today, they want something back tomorrow, COB. Which often times is you have to do that for a and just let the big go first. Then when you do it, it starts revising and all. So it goes to a second. Why can't you have a platform where all the vendors, like the main guys and the importers, not the guys that push the importers, whatever price I get from you, at least you should be able to stay one month. At the beginning of the month, whatever price I got from you, can stay at the end of that month. Following month, we start 
a, a new price list, you know, and so that whoever the contractor is, whoever the vendor is, what's for the consultants, they can easily look at those prices. Now, prices vary, which is fine, but oftentimes I find that there's too much gap. That there's a in the, there's a too much inefficiency with with how we do things presently. No, so which is why I'm actually talking about Let's if we can create that, I'm going to start talking, I'm going to make it those new rules. Let me be a very sweet answer. Okay. Don't build anything in them. Just need to make people inside the website. Okay. okay. That's your market. Because all you need is information. Yes. Call the the, the AC guy, the copper guy, the all the core people, put them in a place where you can ask them the question. That's what you need. And you know what? You can get the answer very quickly. Yes, you've already that's done that actually. Mm -hmm. Now, but the thing that is, okay, like now, a lot of people call me now, you have, please, do you have price for copper? I'm not giving, I'm giving info how to people for free to go and buy materials. For people that there's no info, there's no commission on this. So, which is why I'm not trying to create that platform that will, if you want to buy. Because the thing is, I have like huge, huge network over the years for yeah, that yeah. contractor. Yeah. When I mention my issue with marketplace, see now, what you described is essentially a concierge e commerce platform, not a marketplace. Because a marketplace can be very tricky. Now, what you've done is that your, your people are now seeing you, they are not seeing those importers. You, you want to bring the importers for which was me, I would do and that's good as a first for me. I always say, that's what I, that's, that's the marketplace. The marketplace is you bringing those importers to your face. Bro, let's not, let's not get to stock up on it. But, do you know Baranda? Sorry? Do you know Baranda? Do you know what Baranda is? Do you know what Baranda is? I don't know. Also, I think what said. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. That's how we're going to start this. 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 That's how we're and let me tell you something, real life experience. When we started renting, yeah. it was Gigi style. You have something, she has something. She would then call me and say, Oh, I need what you saw. Projector, I need to yeah. write projector. Yeah. I'll be like, Oh, call him, he has projector. She yeah. said, No, I don't want to call him. That's what I'm saying. That's the fact. I'm saying, so, you are not listening. I'm saying that we set it up as a pure marketplace. And she's saying, I don't want to deal with him. I want to deal with the platform. You understand? So at the end of the day, it's you give the customers what they want. That's the good I've been saying. Don't do a marketplace. Yeah. Do it. That's what I was saying initially. Yeah. Just do a marketplace. If you, if you do a do marketplace do is what the customer wants. And the customer in Nigeria wants. today, I can give you like 90% of the case. Yeah. The customer does not want the marketplace. You know the customer wants person. to hold you. You in particular. They want to hold you. So, so understand, understand why they want to hold you. The only reason why they want to hold you is what they want to hold you. It's so that they can collect their money back. Exactly. So it means that, it means that if I link both of you together, but I guarantee the money you are giving house, you'll give her money, no stress. What you want to really, is trust. I need to be able to hold somebody. Yes. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So if I put myself that, no problem. You can hold me responsible. I guarantee this person you will deal. Yeah. The reason why you want to deal with me. It's because of trust. You can trust me as a player. I have more reputation, I have more skill in the game than she does. So if I can guarantee that. So we have a big trust issue. A very big trust issue. And if you can solve for trust, you are 50% Solve for trust. So I do this advice for you. The WhatsApp group, the Google And whenever they come for the service, you can talk like it's literally your show. No, no, that, I, I can never shock you. You can tell them to go and buy it. Yes? But what they will start doing is that you know, buy from so I, was, I was just telling him that we'll tell because of the logistics headache there, yeah. you just to structure it. Make sure that people can order and you have a delivery process. You want to buy this thing, it's going to take us five different people to pull all these orders together. So you want to order from us, order for the eight hours, seven, two hours, more. Make it a standard practice. So that when they come, they know that ah, 
before they will deliver out, but you have to do it three days before. Because you don't structure the process. That's why you'll be having headache on back. I want to see it tomorrow, and you think that because you want it tomorrow, you want to make express money. That's when the last man will hold the delivery guy. And then everything will scatter. But because you put a buffer, 72 hours delivery standard, everybody will adjust. The building is not going to go anywhere now, Abby. So everybody will adjust to the process. I think that's how you, you know, because you already have the contact, you can just be giving people free access. Because it took you a lot of time to actually gather that entire network. Can I have a question? So I'll just ask you this question. You know about getting corporate clients, but you're looking at the really big boys, the banks and cool. For instance, I want to get you as my client. What do I need to do? Your offer has to so again, and this is very instructive, right? What I find um, corporates usually have, mm -hmm. and so I make you look like a big company. So we've done a, a, a number of jobs with some big companies, and usually you find that that so we are into digital marketing, so we do a lot of marketing and all of that. You find out that the Big corporate has a budget. They want to market, but they don't have the internal skills and all of those things to actually execute. So, like Sean said, at the end of the day, it's all about trust, right? So, apart from the fact that you are networking, you are attending events, you are showing that you are capable, and you you have a, a list of jobs that you've done that you can showcase, you know, it's about making sure that. You understand what they want. Sometimes it's very difficult for even the government to tell you what exactly they want. It's you that kind of have to figure it out somehow. So I'll give you an example. So this company comes and says, hey, we, we want to launch our uh, our HP product, it's a new laptop, we want to launch it in the market, this, 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 this. we just want the awareness. It's easy for them to say we just want the awareness. But at the end of the day, they're also chasing sales. Right, so if you stop at awareness for them, the next time they are going to say, no, it didn't even get us any sales. But they told you that they wanted awareness. So I'm basically saying, if you do have the opportunity, you deliver and over deliver and show them that there's a lot more that you can still do. Because most times the corporates are, you know, they're just in their own space. There are many, many conflicting interests sometimes, you know, and it's just always a you know, number of different things you have to contend. So who had had success with working with corporate organizations? How did you go about it? Well, he finished. Um, uh, okay. He finished. Yeah, uh, for, for me, mm -hmm. um, one thing about corporate organization is that uh, you have to be able to invest a lot into relationship yeah. development. Yeah. You know, you have to be able to. Um, go outside of the box you know where you seal such deals is not the usual set I'm talking about an, an, an arrangement where people will tell you what to quote tell you what not to quote you understand what I'm saying and um, don't underrate the tiniest link don't underrate anybody the cleaner in an organization can give you the link. The gates man, you know, so that's for me, you know, how I've been able to get close to um, corporate, corporate organization. Then one of the easiest thing you can experience is when you have people negotiate with you, this is my cult. That's one of the easiest experiences you ever have. The people that don't ask you for such. You have to be very careful. <laughs> so should you offer it? No, no. So, no. so why are you careful with the one that doesn't um, ask you for cuts? Because I'm having person. I mean, you get a job of say thirty million or twenty-five million. You think that guy came? You think that guy came for evangelism? <laughs> he didn't come to Cambridge. 
it, it's a cultural thing. Is it in Nigeria and your environment? Is it it's a general thing? No, we are talking about Nigeria. Okay. Uh -huh. But it also happens in the hospital. Yes. What we are talking about Nigeria. Forget whether the man is calling pastor. Forget, 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 forget it. Forget it that he's a deacon in MFM. We'll call it PR, actually. It's PR. Personal relationships. Personal relationship. Do you understand? You know, a man's gift will make room for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, for mm -hmm. the eyes of the Lord, it's, no, it's, no. it's the way you present I, think it's I, don't think it's only, I I have, um, I have um, something to add to what he's saying. We have a mutual friend that um, works with corporates also. Um, for the last seven years, he has been able to identify some people in those organizations. And on every salary period, whether you are Christian or not, because he's a Muslim. He buys over 12 to 15 rounds, and he does drive around and dumps it in the houses. Even when they give him projects, mm. or they don't give him projects. Emotional intelligence. He does dump it in the house every day. His wife. The guy's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You ask him, sorry, you ask him a question about this, but like, if they don't ask, like, you should go far. She's very careful about it. Because I know somebody who works at uh, yeah, Guinness. Guinness is very strict on that. I got, I got somebody, I was thinking, yes, I think it's Guinness, someone I got me that information. And, Four, up to four years prior to a bidding process, you should not have had personal relationship with anybody bidding for that job. That's what it's saying. Once, once they, 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 once Mm. There are always ways and systems around Everything. every day. Yeah. I've been in a meeting where I wanted to do PR and I already changed to dollars and went to a bar. And all I needed to do was give the girl that um, the it's bar that they are booking, whatever yeah. that book is. Mm. And I just collected it to check the list and I put out the to the envelope, close it and gave it to him like he was the one making payment. Yeah, there are ways that you can tell your wife he has bought tickets for somebody with his wife account to play tickets. Yeah, this thing is except we don't want that same guy still bought tickets again to go. Are you guessing what I'm saying? No, sir, you can't do economic. Come on, I mean, you shouldn't be flying economics. I don't know. I won't take that, sir. I won't take that. No, I just have things I've done. If you buy pieces that you can't buy for yourself. I'll call my phone at night and I'll call my staff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Buy, buy a ticket, buy a ticket for this person. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry for cutting. You see, there, these are things I've done. This guy will not act and everything. You will not have to go on an assignment of how to come. See, one of these days we just convert dollars. Mm. Dollars. You have to. Now, IO is the guy. Simple, you will not act. How am I going to give IO this money? Number one. You also need insiders to give you an idea of what IOS percentage is. Oh. You get what I'm trying to say? They have to look for every means. Every means. One of the one of the things I look out for. Anybody around the guy that is close to the guy, when is the next birthday? today? You say his wife dead day, so 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 day, right? Eh? Ah madam, happy birthday to you. You've got a great husband. This is my token man. That's for our husband. Do you understand? So you want to give her, give me five thousand dollars. I'll give it to you for your birthday, and you will tell your husband, "Your you gave me five thousand dollars off record." Do you understand? That is reality. And the reason why it's very hard for us to process is that it's very our culture is very different. We're not we're not used to it, right? We're not used to actually. Uh, kind of looking at what will somebody need in the future. You know, we are our culture, sorry to say, we are very selfish people. Short term. Short term. Sorry, sorry to say, yeah, we are very short term. Short term. Short -term. Short -term. We, yeah, we, I like that. We, don't, we are always, always concerned about now, our now. 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 Right? And if you want to grow, just watch a few of American movies, how they run business. You know, I can want to take that account and I can be at it for the next five years because I know that once I get it, you know, so I think it's about our culture shift, you know, of what exactly, how can I be of help to that person? It might not even be money that you're giving, right? 
it might just be something that you know that will be helpful to them. Yes, yes. You are basically buying bedroom in their head. You are buying, you are buying rent so that they are, you are in their head. So that when the next thing they want to ah, this person that helped me. There's, there's nothing wrong with doing that. You are basically preparing for you know what what you're trying to get in the future. And it's not something you you will just happen upon. It means you could do a lot of research. Yes. Very intentional. Very, very intentional. Is and I think, yeah, relationships are the most intentional things that we must learn to build. If at it's one of the things that we don't know how to do. Yes. Okay. As I meant that you know that's the only thing we every year, every year, December every year, I look at the relationships I need for next year. I look at sector. I need one MD of a bank. Or I need to be close to guys in the Guinness, I mean, in the beauty industry. I just identify it. And I deliberately start to move around, start to inquire around to see how I can make friends in those, <clears throat> in those spaces. You know, the real deals, the real deals are done quietly. They are done off record. They are done in clubs, golf course. Do you understand? I mean, and they just look at you over, ah, oh, is your sister, is your friend? Oh, ah, you know him, great guy. Meanwhile, you don't write proposal since they don't send your proposal. Exactly. But somebody will just say. Proposal does not work in Nigeria. I will not write proposal. I'll come and give you. Ridelia. I have one day. You have to tell me to write proposal. And how I write it. I will write it. How much I will put in it. So there are a lot of times I write proposal. The uh, commercial arrangement is left blank. You be the one to feed the financial commercial arrangement. So that's where a lot of um, whatever. And when you are when you start to call such people, call more with WhatsApp calls. They feel safer when you call them on WhatsApp. Those are some of the things that meant. They feel safer. It's encrypted. It's not like you can easily record normal calls. And you know, and even if they are free enough to say okay. I no problem. You can give me that fine. I'm not stressing you, you know, and all of that. You know, even if they give you the account number, request for another account number that doesn't bear their name. Some of them will give you the account number and see your reaction. You pay into that account, they become a bit skeptical about you. Because yeah. wow. so you could use that against them. Yes. Wow, okay. You know, I've, I've, I've made such requests before, the person will say, the person told me I looked at me. <laughs> so this guy has an account for such. I think it was maybe he won our account or something. <laughs> so but I mean it's the reality. I know a man that is in depression now because he was I was trying to avoid this and it was messed up. He got into debt. Over fifteen years now, the guy gas is living on medication because of that. And guess where he was dealt with? It was a church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mention the name of the church because I got it was a building project, you know. The man loved me so much. I used to supply him safety boots. He said, "You better do something more than safety boots." So he gave me painting. I painted before as a shoemaker. <laughs> but then I knew. It was then I knew that he scraped. Yeah, but the man was avoiding. These guys came, pastors, thinking they are about said to, said to, and they quoted the scripture to him. A man's gifts <laughs> will make no room for you. If, if you give us a gift, we we'll give you more contract. The guy said, No, I won't do that. It's against my belief. And they old bad reports about him and they changed him out of sight. He was owing bank money, owing suppliers, people started arresting him, locking him up. His wife works in the bank. It was his wife that got a huge loan to clear up some of the debt. The man is sick now. The man is Very sick. Very shaky. Very shaky. Do you understand? is that actually. Can, can go from 100 to 0 and back to 50, like, it's, yeah. it's crazy. Especially if you have having multiple projects and I'm telling us the... Yeah, it's crazy. And you know you should be ready to kiss asses. Just don't be ready to kiss asses. Just don't be ready to kiss asses. Yes, do this for me. Just don't be ready to kiss asses. Yes, do this for me. Yes, do this for me. Yes, do this for me. So, 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 so I have one of the reasons why I don't necessarily do B2B uh, is because I really don't like kissing asses. So um, you can also come into B2B transactions from a position of strength too. Mm -hmm. There is there is a way 
So I'll tell you for free that people know competence, right? When they see it. And it's just that a lot of people have biased competence, right? Mm -hmm. But when it really matters, trust me, if you are very competent, many times, if you have not locked the door of that relationship, mm -hmm. they will come looking for you. Yeah. So they know the guys that deliver. Even if it means that they will give it to their cousin, but tell their cousin that this is the person, this is the person you must subcontract this yes. job to. Yes. When they want policy. So there's that to me. I will not I won't necessarily kiss us. I don't know. You know. That's me. It's a personal choice. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get it. So also it's also relative. So when you when so when you say kiss us. So for me, what I meant by that is, is that you know there are people that um, you will naturally want to argue with. There are people that you on a good day, you will not be having close conversations with. But you have to just be learned to be patient and hear what they have to say. Some people will just be power drunk. Alright? They just want to push you around. You know, there's a there's one particular company now that we're working with. You know, anytime I ask my colleague in the office to relate with the guy, do you understand? You know, maybe a change of information or why are you sending me to then you would then make life unbearable for her. You know, just to make you just make everything look complicated. So she will come to me and say, Ah, this guy is a then okay, let me undo it. Then immediately I step in. Do you understand? You know, so what's the guy trying to say? I don't deal with mm -hmm. I don't deal with staff. I deal with the boss. And that guy is not the boss. Who, <laughs> you know but I've learned over time. You have learned over time that the people that seem not to be the boss, they can mess you up. We just a comment. Do you understand? Yeah, yes, exactly. So these are some of the things I've I've had to go to deliver to a bank. We did some product wallet, you know, for a bank. And um, I went with the staff. Because another thing I thought to myself is that because I started asking, that was the first time. So I asked their process. They said the guys in the store who have to sign on my invoice. And there's something with the will feel that they will send to accounts. If those guys don't sign, they won't pay my balance. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You know, so I had to go with them to the store. So I was counting and uh, they kept asking, uh, who be, be your guy? We say your guy in the office. They looked at, look at me and they said, let's say you just came to see if you guy. Do you understand? I just said, boss, you used to. There are store guys. Do you understand? There are store guys. You get, you get what I'm trying to say? By the end of the day, you know, the guy now said, but boss, but relax, relax, you, you no. you'll be pure guy. We don't need press already. Some people, you know, start saying different things. Some people will come here and they will stay in the car and they'll be using their left hand to talk to them. Hey, you come here, count this thing. I'm, I'm in a hurry and all that. And there's a lady that they know travels often. She delivers something. They ensure she has traveled before they informed her that one or two was missing. And she waited for months before she got her money. <laughs> you get so I mean so I try to relate with everybody with respect you know I try not to argue as much but of course I've worked out on many stuffs I mean maybe um, there's a limit to so, um, so I also know, I also know yeah. one thing um, I'm Yoruba and then you know I'm Nigerian and I know that there are certain programs that I work with one of them is roasted dogs but before it finishes roasting, you must eat, or else you will die. Um, and there's another one that says, call a madman your boss, so he will allow you to pass. After you have come, you can have this too. Or at least you will go for it. Or you will stop that and go for it. You get what I'm saying? So um, these are things that I am trying to employ in whatever system I'm trying to put in business generally. Um, we have a boss that we both know that um, the relationship between me and him, between me and him is slightly frosty. What is the, what is the problem? I am big on I know my job. I can deliver. He knows that this guy is excellent. But apparently he used to be a Capone in school. So he has this loyalty, all those Necessary attachments that he believes in. I, mean, I don't. If I don't, if apart from me doing you favors 
or I'm doing my job. I don't know how to come around you and start talking to you about things that I don't know. So he would report to him and say, he doesn't understand me. People will come around me and do this. He was saying something, she was saying something that um, when they know you can't deliver, that they would call you. This guy has given practically almost everybody I know around the business. He has never given. Have I, am I hungry? No. He's surprised how I keep doing how God keeps doing it. Yeah, but I sometimes sit down and I know I feel bummed. That okay, you send somebody to Egypt free on the federal government bill. He did not put my name. You send somebody to uh, Uganda. You've uh, given person over 80 million dollar contract. You've done this one just because people are around you. And it's not like you don't know that I can deliver. You just feel to be a forming big man. You understand? So it is not like I'm forming big man. I just don't know how to sit down with people and start wasting my time to talk on things that I just don't know how to do it. It's not because I'm trying. Even if they give you that job, you will not enjoy it. Uh -huh. You will not enjoy it. Because you uh -huh. would. Okay, so you know, 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 this person we talk about, he knows that he has my 100% reality. He knows that I go over and to any left to make sure he has it. And he knows I want to give back. So if may not be around him, he's my only deficiency. A man is allowed to have one, one or two deficiencies in his life. I can't be perfect. You get my point? So there are things you would not get. Just there's not everything yeah. that you chase in life that you would get. And when you have that mindset and you know that oh, a certain level of faith that oh there's there are things that are not yours. There are things that are yours. And you have that that mixed with your diplomacy and all, what is yours to come? Absolutely. That's just so, I can I have <laughs> so I can afford not to come here for this program. Alright? Um, it's not like any one of us here is paid for attending. Mm. But I came because of Florence. And the journey, knowing Florence style with you mm. and AY. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've known Florence now for roughly seven, seven years. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, seven years. Yeah. You've only bought face mask for me. Just to let you know that I'm always very deliberate about relationships. Okay. But you see, Someday, she'll just come knocking and give me a deal of $1 million. Why? Because she can say consistently, I've known this guy mm -hmm. for seven years. Mm -hmm. Part of knowing me is part of his being involved in something she does. Mm -hmm. Part of knowing me is I went to ATM, GT Bank, and I'm walking past the streets. I noticed she would there, uh, let me pop in. Do you understand? And I try to feel her body language. One of one of the questions I have, I use one of the one, one of the strategies I use in getting to people about our business. There's no entrepreneur you ask that question that will not feel loved and feel like you know they will they will just say she will say mm. she will only say mm, Baba. How that question will you ask her? Then we will get into a conversation. So why do they have to say that? So going back to the issue of this person. See, there's what we call emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is first to understand the person you're dealing with. Do you understand? Um, I've, I've, over the years, I've, I've learned closely and I've been tutored by people. See, some people, by nature, are very personal. They are very personal. They want you to assure them that if they open up to you or bring you close to them, You'll be, you'll be conservative about your dealings with them. Some people, by the virtue of their background, they don't joke with loyalty and commitment. So this person was a, was a cold boy in the university. Very nice man, do you understand? But it's the kind of person that wants to be sure that this guy, this guy, you should say this guy and that guy. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't get to see this person like every other day. I don't get to see him often. 
but there are ways that things that I do that I make him feel like, boss, I got your back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Boss, I got your back. There's a place of competence in business. There's a place of communication. And there's a place of relationship. Do you get it? You can be competent and not have jobs. Do you understand? And that's like the story of most people. Exactly. You see people that are very smart. Very, very smart. But because they do not understand how to just be at someone's reception for six hours and the person has not seen them. Hey, they will say, hey, I'm not jobless. That's my brother. How can I come to Shimon's office and be waiting for him to see him for six hours? In my head, I mean no waiter they look for. That's number one. Number two, that guy too is busy. You get his order of priority. If what he's doing at that point in time is more important than what you're coming to ask him, then I need to wait. For six hours? Yes. I was going to say, I don't know more way for no for six hours. But I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. In 2000, which year was it? When I did her uh, show. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, the co Yeah. She told us the story of how she broke international. She went for an audition. Some people were playing at one theatre, was somewhere in France, it was cold. They said, oh, okay, we'll listen to you after we finish our rehearsal. She sat there, and she sat there for 10 hours. It was after they finished, and they were about going, and they saw that she was still waiting. Oh, okay, okay, let's. Yes. Let's come back and listen. It was that bitterness, that anger, that you kept me here for 10 hours, that made her play so much that like, wow. And we all know the story of Asha. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying go and sit down for 10 hours. But my sister is looking. But if you know what you are looking for, and you know that this is where you are likely to get it, where do we go? Yes. So if there's a lady too that came to send a chance for this to me. I then before then that period I do a lot of things with NYC mm -hmm. get to train them. So I met her at the camp. You know, she called me like uh, six months after she was finished service that she started selling policies. You know, and I remember we had a few conversations. She looks like a lady that has a good future by the things she does. So she told me that she wanted to sell the policy to me. I told her to come over to the office. And deliberately, I kept kept her waiting. You are deliberately. I kept her waiting. <laughs> you know, because one of the things I've learned is that the best salesperson you can ever get are the people that sell pharmaceutical products and sell insurance policies. Their patience level and their presentation skill has no match. Very similar to yoga. <laughs> Yes, no. So look at the research I've read about someone that is a Jehovah witness who will say anything. Insult them and do wait. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, uh, so I deliberately kept her waiting. So I remember the friend came to the also someone was with me in the office, you know, and she was waiting at the waiting area. And I finished with my friend. I saw my friend off. So my friend was telling me, I forgot here, I hope he's not sure. One of my close friends was telling me, someone is waiting for you. I said, I just want to check something about our strength. It will help to then advise her further. Because the thing she told me she was doing in camp, I don't expect her to be selling insurance uh, policy if she has built the right relationship to project those things. So while I was waiting, while I was talking to my friend outside, she just walked past. She just came out of the office. I said, ah, what's up? I said, I can't wait again. I'm going. Bye bye. And that was it. How long did she wait? Maybe an hour. Do you understand? Yeah. For me, I just felt like, come on. I mean, I don't, you can't waste my time. She was not going to pay me for counseling. It was free counseling. I was going to give to her. Oh, and she won't yeah. pay me. Do you understand? So, I mean, one of the things. I learned about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship comes with a lot of dog doggedness, patience, you know, rootless. It's when you get to a certain level, you knew why you went through some pains at a certain level. You get. I knew what I lost this week in business. 
And if you are coming for a favor, you may not really find me in good mood. <laughs> I mean, I lost, I bled this week. Do you understand? You know, so, and you never expect that I will give you a special attention. I mean, you think you are tired and want to go there. Come on. Who cares? So we need to give people a benefit of the doubt, give them a second chance, try to think for them. You get what I mean? And that's, for me, it's, uh, so that's one issue. I'm still, we are still working on that project. Yeah. Like that. I think it's getting, I think it's getting better. Yeah, but, but I, again, I also subscribe to the point of your personality is your personality. Yeah. If, if it's not in that line where you have to go and sit down, I mean, there are, there are, there are many roads into the market. My brother, I don't believe in your personality. Your personality. Sorry for cutting you. Ah, why not? You. I'm, 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 I'm an extreme extrovert. Joker. Yeah. But it was when I realized that. Yeah, it's when I realized that. Let me say this. I'm, I'm trying to pay my one of the banks I owe money. I call them. I say, oh, yeah, Alpha. So the strategy I use now. When it remains small, I'll call them out to clear it off. So clean it off is automatic of another one. Yeah. Get another one automatic. So I don't to clear off. Give me my breakdown. <laughs> so yes, and the money. When I saw the total, I'm an introvert. <laughs> <laughs> I became an introvert. I remember accounting for James Spooner. So I sat down with my I mean, for me, it was painful. I hate to do those things. I now started to calculate my facial expression change. My doctor came, Daddy, why are you sad? I'm not sad, I'm thinking. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it has to be situational. There are times that I think, I think being a colleague, there are times I, I act anger, but I'm not angry. I just do that. Come on, these people, guys, when they play me, why are you for one day? One day they will just. Waste material and I'll get into a problem in the factory. I'll just form and I'll just scatter everywhere. <laughs> it's a lie. Right. I'm acting it. Ah, do that. Okay, we do the bit. Okay, we do the bit. They will shrink. You understand? So, I mean, there has to be flexibility. When you sit down with the billionaires we call today, let them tell you for real the things they went through. A lot of times they don't come out to tell you those things because you believe that, sir. You that you are used to form, so you did that. So that's my own opinion. Though. There are places where I form I'm quiet. Right? Because the people I'm dealing with are introverted people. There are places where I deliberately control myself. I don't talk too much. I pick it, Papa Gogo Dito. I chill. You know why? Because of the personality that I've met. So it's not being it's a different group of different groups, right? Uh, for me, I really like what he said. I was like that. I've lost a lot of opportunities to have patient, seriously, you know, and for not wanting to kiss us, like you said. You know? But uh, at the end of the day, you go on hunger. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, be my master, be master of myself and all the rest. So yeah. it's really that hard. I've been forced to like lead people to food and I refuse to. And I went home hungry. You know, so so it's life. It's, it's life. Yeah. And sometimes and those experiences teach teach us some very vital lessons. That, that's how I see it. Because again, those lessons will would then be very useful in new endeavors. Exactly. Because you exactly. realize how you mess up. Like, let me tell you, I teach my children how to, how to be patient. How to even, you know, if... I won't make the same mistake exactly. I will, I will bring my son, because now I'm like, if he say... <laughs> so I decided one day I will leave him, let home go. <laughs> you know, seriously, I I learned to uh, you know hard. Yeah. You know I I put my children on them well. You know, because I've met a lot of people. There's nothing bad about it. Yeah, there's nothing. They have their own. No, you can't. 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 No, 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 no. They, they will still do it, but, yeah. but, 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 but you, can, you can start, you know, that you, there are some, there are some, how do I say this? So I'll give you an example. Somebody had told me before that you are in the wrong business. And it was, you know, I used to be in the fashion business. Okay. And, you know, I opened a store somewhere, not too far from I see I've been better. Yeah. <laughs> and that man came, big boy from yeah. UBA, he was a senior manager at UBA again. He just came. He said, Shio, this business cannot take you where you need to be. He said, go and borrow money. Send everything you have. Go and put a shop somewhere in Victoria. I didn't. Eventually, I left that business. Fact. And he said, I knew a guy who was selling in Oba. I went to his shop, he was selling wristwatches. I looked at him. I told him, sell everything you have, go and get the shop in behind. He said the guy was on the staircase of Mega Plaza for two years before he eventually moved into his own, what's it called, space. He said the guy has bought a house that he lives in in Victoria. I can't mm. He knew what he was saying. I mm. didn't. Do you understand? Mm. If I see a young boy now that was where he was, I will beg him that he didn't explain why to me. Mm. He just told me mm. and he left. And he stopped patronizing me. Wow. He stopped patronizing me. When I call him, say Shell, you don't get it. I don't even have his number still, unfortunately. You, you get what I'm saying? So again, we can help, you know, you yeah. can help that person. Yeah. So, the other day I was telling, I was having a conversation with one of my own boys. And I said that, uh, if my daughter says she wants to learn ballet, that I'll just encourage her to go to the best ballet school in the world. Yeah. He said, God forbid, bad thing, you know, daughter will learn ballet. He said, this is ballet, nothing like that. You know this investment bank in my force, that you engineer the child to go into a profession, a you know, that I said, yeah, but he said, look, let's not mistake it. The people who make it in those outlier careers, those are people we get to know about. We don't know the others that are tempted, yes. but they never made it. So you can't say, oh, a hey, Y was a comedian, a comedian. So because your son is cracking jokes all over the place, they will crack joke, hunger will kill him. You won't be able to laugh. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, to get, so that's just me talking about, look. So I, I totally understand, you know, you saying that. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. We must learn our own lessons. Yes. We must find our own path, no doubt. But then again, you know, if the places where we, you know, can falter, you can guide, can guide and say, see, look, this is the reason. But then, you see that generation, they are very strong. Yeah, they want to make their own mistakes. So, so if, I, if I add to what you said, so one of the things I've also learned is the fact that, you know, we need to keep an open mind. And it's the reason why we have to be very conscious of our, about our circle of influence. So I want to be sure that if she will say, I don't believe in this thing we did. I want to be sure that it's coming from a real heart. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Not from an envious Exactly. Place. And that's why you need to do an audit check every time, continuously, about your circle of influence. Not because you're trying to edit, uh, audit people that will tell you what you want to hear. 
but will tell you the truth without being scared to tell you the truth. You know, that's one of the things me and this gentleman enjoys. At times we go tell each other the truth, we go bold. The next moment we start to talk again. Do you understand? Why? Because we have each other's back. We want each other to succeed. Another thing is, I found out that, you know, when you are passionate about a, part, a certain thing, you know, like I said earlier, uh, Adebua, the man that is now making, uh, doing the, is he asking himself, is he looking out to be a successful photographer or a billionaire? Well, whether he like it or not, he was able to build credibility, starting off as a photographer. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? There are lots of people now that I can approach, that are millionaires, that I can approach and market another friend's product to them because over the years I've sold shoes to them and we able to have you know reasonable conversation. We are put together to believe that this guy beyond what he does, he has something upstairs. You know, so there are a lot of people laughed at me. People told me, people people had video because of me when I said I was going to be a shoemaker. You know, they thought my stepmother that charmed me or something. You understand? And um, I've seen people that told me that about, there's no future here. While I was in school, it was not easy. I'm not like I felt like then I would do it. I kept looking at it. I did a lot, a lot of other things on the side. I did public speaking, just that a lot of people don't know. I don't corporate trainings. You know, I've been in the consulting field. I've put courses together. I've done all of those things. I've sold Chin Chin, I've sold Discs Man, yes, I've sold, I mean, I've done many things, you know, to survive. But all of the things I did outside of shoemaking that a lot of people didn't know is what has come back to strengthen what I'm doing right now. So most of the time when people say, I made money from being a comedian, check it properly, closely. Is it that you are stylishly laundering money for somebody? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, or which other field is skit making? Skit making. <laughs> you understand? Know so, anything that is internet based right now, and me, I ask a lot of questions behind the scenes. Oh, I just gifted myself the latest BMW X6. <laughs> Come on, I'll just go to a car shop. I can rent that car, drive it, take pictures with it. After all, there are studios in Lekin now that is private jet. It's a studio. And you'll see that they're in the private jet. So we need to be able to measure um, all of these things. Exactly. So a lot of people too have been very miserable in life. They have everything, including money. The only thing they don't have is satisfaction and fulfillment. You know, so their father has pushed them to be in a particular field. They are making money, they're looking successful, but there is no satisfaction. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that as parents, I think we must be very careful about. Mm. I think I was lucky my my parents let us do whatever we wanted to do. Mm. Right. So as a kid I was very artistic. I'm still artistic. And it's probably why I do what I do today. Right. So I would draw, draw, and would always encourage it. Mm. Even though he would have what would like to be, I always said I wanted to be a doctor like him. I tried to be a doctor. You know, but at some point I realized that doctor don't be my way. I'm going to be the First of all, Nigeria is like down. Like no. So and I went to him and said, I don't think I want to be a doctor again. And he was like, okay. I, I knew he was disappointed, but again, as a parent, these are things that we must be able to absorb. Mm. The cocoa is guide them to what they want. Because their path is their path. Mm -hmm. Right? And we, we are just there to guide it, not to enforce and say it must be. That's why we have a lot of people, money, no fulfillment. Exactly. Before you know it, they hand it. Well, there is a pressure. Well, what, what, what would you do when your daughter comes to you and I want to be a teacher? Ah. 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 Sir, 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 let me tell you now. Let me tell you now. Sir, yes. you see the, yes. the, 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 the understanding of the word teacher has changed. There, there's, a problem, there's a teacher who has a profession who's going to a class to teach. Mm. I make more money today teaching. Same here. Online. See, there's nothing wrong with teaching. No, my daughter came up one day, I want to do it. I said, <laughs> 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 No, it's not what you understand. What you understand about the profession. Yes. Today, it has changed. You can see that.
like a woman can see you. I'm yes. telling you. Mm -hmm. And also mention the dimension of the That's what you can't see if you have. You see. So guide her. Whatever it is that she has play for, guide her. Encourage it. So so you will be surprised. So, so, like, so also, also, you know, one of the things I always tell her, so one of the things I always you know push for let people do things that give them satisfaction but also let them know the place of having enough in terms of comfort I mean sufficient do you understand so your passion might be to become to be a teacher there are teachers that have investment in different things, different other things, many other things. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Now, because they feel, for instance, my father was a professor. You know, he taught quite a number of uh, reputable uh, individuals uh, today. But one of the things that he did wrong, that we argued a bit about before he died, is that he had a lot of other opportunities that he didn't embrace. So people that he had thought are now succeeding. So someone came ah, from seven of side, you can be one of our major distributors, one of his old students. Uh, I'm a teacher. My stepmom said, ah, I can do it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't mix. Focus. In life, there's focus. You get he had opportunities, different opportunities that could just be an invest investor in. You don't have to, do you understand? Just okay, I'm not ready to invest here. Do you understand? And because of his reputation. He has access to facilities. Some of the people he has taught are now branch managers. They are now MDs. That, ah, it is you now. Give it to him. Do you understand? So if you find satisfaction in what you do, you would affect life naturally. You will meet people, and they will see you do what you do, you know, with, with joy. A, a typical example is Femi and Midi Kuti. Midi Kuti. Midi Kuti. But my is my is they had their father and son concert. Yeah. Yeah. So I was privileged to stay with them. I sat on the stage with them because my Ferris manager is my friend. So we met, you know, so I sat at the backstage. Femi requested that I should, I should sit at the backstage. And I saw Mandy perform with his band. You know, goose people all over me. You understand? And when his father was going to take over for me, you could see the joy on his father's face, seeing his son. You could see that this guy enjoy doing it. Unfortunately, he has a good leverage for him to be able to, you know, move fast. The, life is about what, what, how we define define success. Really, we say money, money, money. We want to become billionaires. The question is, after all of that, are you successful? What next? I mean. For me, it's not having been richer than Bill Gates or Dan Gooden. That one is bad, so don't want to say. I think the thing is, what does success mean? Exactly. Yeah. So for some people, you must be able to define it. And some people, this the success is to some people. Success to some people will be like, my own success will be what Florence has been able to project on social media that success. Means. What am I projecting on social media? No, I'm just saying. No, 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 I'm just saying. Okay, so for me, as yeah. uh, you can start your business. And succeed as a seller. You know, I'm just joking. But so, a lot of time, you need to be able to sit down to define success. I was with a man, very successful man, you know, in my own right. The man taught me what success meant. He's a very close friend to Dan Lute. You know, so I sat down in his house, his wife was seated. You know. And he requested I wanted to meet me. You know, I read some things about you, you're doing good, you know, ask me any question. You know, and so he went on and said to me that he played uh, hockey, that he wouldn't do, was in the national team, Nigerian national team at some point. He mentioned a few things that doesn't look so whatever. I said, but those things he has mentioned, they give him something. He said, Aliko is my very good friend. My wife knows. Remember the last. Is a major distributor for, uh, distributor of Subaru in Nigeria. Subaru, the man has a distributorship, so he supplies some cars to the Angote company. I think he said how much was it then? I think yeah, one small amount of I think it was five hundred million in my head. He said <laughs> He said I was waiting for my check. 
Personal second one. I called him. Hello. What's wrong with my money? Said, ah, I'm so sorry. Let's so he went to his office, sat down. And the Adangote said, My brother, you don't know what I'm going through. The reason why you've not got your ticket is because I need to see it and sign it. There's been a lot of crime going on in the system. And when he said, when Dangote started to explain to me what is going through monitoring his money, then I looked into his eyes and said, I feel for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, when next you see Dangote on TV, look at him, look at him. We looks, he looks at that, he's all that. Mm -hmm. He's itching. Come on, for what? With all the money. With all the money. I can't go to anywhere in the world I want to go to. I'm having fun. I'm going to play squash in the next few hours. I have a good time with my wife. There's no important person I want to see in the world I don't get to see. A success. My children are doing fine. They're happy. They're all right. They're not depending on my properties. Do you understand what I say? And that guy said, that guy, that guy looks, he's used. He has used himself out. Because you want to become the richest man in Nigeria, I don't want to become the richest man in Nigeria. You get what I'm trying to do? So that day, it dawned on me what success really means. So for me, is having enough. Take care of me, my family, and humanity. And so buy your time. Sorry? Buy your time. time. Exactly. I believe for you to sit down like this and your mind no cuts. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm going back money, but my mind will cut. If they come here, I'll tell them to sit down. I've defaulted before. I can't come and say, hold on for my manager. I can't handle this anymore. Hello, woman. Uh, Madam, can I call you back? I want to eat. <laughs> and today I was going to eat. Let me eat. I want money. If it's easy, it's not to come and enter, you know. <laughs> when I finished eating, I didn't come back. I just drove straight to the branch. Say, so manager, and sat down with the manager. I said, you better be thanking people like us. Now, <laughs> <laughs> seems to be patient to explain. And I started to explain, I started praying. Oh, we help. <laughs> that was the kind. You know, so I mean, it's, I mean, it's what it is. But we are trying to enter, you know, it's not easy for us to do it. It's the reason why we are not many. And the reason why we are not thinking of that part. It's just very difficult. It's not mindset. Do you know, one of my friends is an investment banker. So I told him about my neighbor that is also an investment banker that I left with for Julia. I said, that guy is not smart. He said, the way, where the economy of Nigeria is right now, eh? That it's not about whether it's obedient or article. Or, mm. say, anybody that becomes president, there's a key that that person must turn to start the economy of this nation. Because the world, say, you say we don't have an idea of how the world depends on Nigeria. I think the only reason the world depends on Nigeria is that. Uh, we can't afford for us to go into an humanitarian crisis. Yeah. We no, never, yes, we yes. never do crisis. We never we, do. That would be a sick asylum pass. That would be like a sick asylum pass. That would be like a sick asylum pass. Why do 200 million people? You're 250. Why do you want to know that you're not going to? That is why. Lagos is not just your country. Once the bomb goes off in Lagos, but all of them. Asylum, but yeah, there is more. But, but beyond that, sure, yeah, that's true. But, but beyond that, sure, there's a lot of uh, economic value around us. An average foreign company wants to have a share of the size of Nigeria. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a rent-seeking mentality, really. You know, they're they coming to just please us. You understand what I'm saying? They're not, they're not. There isn't a lot of value. Yeah, it's it's They bring money in, they play the stock market, they pull out their money. Yeah. Yeah. Stock market trading does not create any value in the economy. But you can't blame them. No, I don't, because even we we don't rate ourselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you nobody can. can rate you if you are not rating yourself. You, can. you know, so that's that's the thing. So the guy was telling me that Bill Pichido, in fact his own wife has been on his then he has sent them to Canada. Say me, we would be here together. Say because he has the potential of making quick money at his level. 
the youngster because I got a, but the reason we are still here, Florence, is never. <laughs> no, it's, it's Jay. It's still Jay. Mm. Seriously. Wow. You have stepped up. They told me now, Panita. You are a strong woman. <laughs> But I think it's time. I think it's. Um, it's been an, an interesting conversation, right? I, I think we should wind, wind, wind down, right? Yeah, but, but what I wind down with is that we just need to look for ways to collaborate more. Is it tough or that? Is that one? I know it's tough. But collaborating collaborate just helps to achieve things faster. In the process, it will scatter. But also, we help, give us an opportunity for us to keep, um, you know, learning. You know, your strength. If I take pick your strength and add to mine, and take mine and add to yours, both of us will be better at what we do. So that we see the place for collaboration. What we have come to do here is collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why we'll keep doing this. Um, I also feel, aside the collaboration, which is really very important. I think that entrepreneurship is quite a lonely journey, that if you don't know people who, who feel the shoe pinch, it's going to be difficult. I, when I have a conversation with friends who are um, non-entrepreneurs, if you talk to them, they don't understand. The only thing they can say is, hey, yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Like, they don't give you any tangible this and you don't blame them because that's all they can yeah. give you. But sometimes the challenge that you have, another entrepreneur might have experienced it and as you're sharing the thing, they're giving you solution and you're like, hey, see the thing that I'm winding my head around and someone has experienced it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, since you are uh, something, I'll give you some more number. That's the so, uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 Now me calling people number this last <laughs> this last two weeks. I'm not even joking. Because and I I was going to say that in addition to what you said as collaboration, mm -hmm. we also need to share information. Ah, yes. uh, very important, very yes. key. So two people in this room gave me two plugs. There was I was telling Florence that. So by the way, Florence is my landlord. I. So I was saying that uh, this is my three bedroom. Like, I cannot afford the rent to maybe I'll come and take room and panel in another location. I she just said, Oh no, by the way, do you know the Lagos State is doing this scheme where XYZ, XYZ, don't worry, take this plug, take this plug. I know one or two persons that are pulling the call for you. I heard that you came and met me and said, You raised money before now. Somebody's trying to work with people that raise. Some money before call this person. Now the truth is, like you said, I am the plug. Mm. But even plug, even plug, you need plug. Because sometimes, as plug, currents no day. Currents no day. Plug, extension no day. Plug, extension no day. Do you understand? Because like a fan that is rolling, the fan is off. But the fact that the fan is still running doesn't mean that's that the story. The fact that it's just, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, at those points, you know, because I just like, what's going on now? What's going on? Do you understand? Like, by the way, that guy, the old, we did the first thing, he got the debt, he sent me another investment, whatever document, I replied him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Another plug, um, Trade Depot, they came in, so this one, the price they were talking about, I don't know, they couldn't agree, but they yeah, at least. But you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes, you, don't, you may not even need a solution. You just need to see a pathway out of where you are. Exactly. Yes. You understand what I'm yes. saying? That's why there's nothing like, I'm a one-man squad. Mm. Yeah. And there's also nothing like self-made. No, because that, that, it takes a community to... When I hear that, thing, to, to when I hear that, you see that you have so much. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you didn't inherit the work from it. So what, how people define self-made is, mm. the idea your dad is not that good thing. Inherit from your dad. You know, that was what Portable claimed. Mm -hmm. It was insulting the video. That you, my bad, no, you mean. Your father made you. Like, me and did my father. Are you is at this point in time, like, <laughs> hey, hey, <I'm> like <laughs> But there is nothing like self made. It is not possible. There are people who parents left something and they spontaneous. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. In fact, the guy that his friend left something for and his guy is still notably, I mean, he's still rich. You need to applaud that guy. Yeah.
one of the most difficult things in life is no, to sustain it and to multiply it. To get wealth is very easy. To me, I feel it's the most easiest part of it. Yes, but to now sustain, okay, I have one million. To sustain, that's one million. That's number one and seven. Then you've sustained it now, you have now multiplied it from one million to 1.5. 1.5 to 2 million is a big deal. Alright, so I have a challenge. So let me throw it out yeah. here. You have to challenge me. What are you saying? <laughs> so we have, I have a challenge. So the we have the business unit coming up, uh, 23rd to 25th. I already explained what it is about training for entrepreneurs. You can sponsor people in your organization. You can sponsor someone. You can also attend. Um, three of our uh, facilitators are uh, here. Biodu takes the operational class and uh, um, Ayo takes the digital class. And we have uh, four other facilitators who are not here. Some of them are flying in to teach. But the thing is that when people go through this business clinic, because they've been trained, and the risk that they will have, they understand how to run business well. We want them to be able to assess facilities. I want to be able to work with banks to do that for them. So anybody who has a shop log for banks that we can work with, I will really need that to, to start the conversation going. You didn't say that, but we get now. Okay, there's no problem. Okay. So, sorry, before we go to the bank, you know, to me, for me, what would that training do for me? What am I going to learn here? What is the... What, 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 what am I coming there to do? You see, I, I went to EDC, right? Um, and I spent all that in the weeks uh, and weeks. Fine. Get a full, you know, play. The food was good. Food was good. Everything was good. Ah, very good. The certificate is like on my house. I'm not really, so I, I want to know myself. I'm not that. You're getting more. I, I don't think I'm very young. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I was going to I'm as young as anybody can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not serious, I can do whatever you can do. You know, so much. You can have too. challenge you have okay. and there's a mismatch in your business model and from the way you've spoken we can see that you have a lot of other potential that you can explore so it will help you to really expand your your business model to see how else you can generate revenue that's one thing and then we did this challenge about marketing if you don't sell hunger will keep on knocking at your door. So digital marketing, and right now, your customers, they are online. It will help you profile them, find exactly where they are. And then to also target a wider um, reach, wider reach of people, you need to advertise. There's a limit to which organic, uh, organically you can reach people. So you need to create those ads, and you pay for people to create ads for you. One of, one, one of the things you're going to learn in digital marketing and advertising is that you create your ads by yourself. You know, you create your Facebook ads by yourself. You can monitor them, see how they are doing, how they are performing, and you can also improve in them. Then we're going to also look at the different strategies that you can use to sell. You know, um, how do you now reach these corporate people? How can, what are you going to change? That's one thing. The operation of your business, how can you reduce costs in terms of inventory? What can you do? For people who have been able to do that for their businesses, you also learn. The people who are teaching in these classes, they are running businesses. That's um, what we actually checked. They are running businesses that are tailored to the niches that they are teaching. So a customer service person has a customer service this thing. 
the digital person has a digital firm, operation runs a manufacturing firm, the law person has her own law firm, and accounting has, and you're going to get accounting uh, templates too. It just uh, is hands on training, different from what uh, is not theory. And then there's this one month mentorship, and then this community that we have as well. All right, so if I were to that, we, we are also alumni of uh, EDC. EDC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the governor of the deputy governor. Okay. Yeah. Which year was that? Oh, he's the LBS. He said, LBS. They are main building with their voice cutters. <laughs> At times, the voice cutters can be shot by their guys. <laughs> he's cheap. Is he cream? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I learned with I learned from my experience in EDC is that you see when you get to the natural environment where you get a lot of information. If care is not taken, you have information over it. So in my head, I'm just looking for what applies to me. It's like going for a buffet. I've not seen anyone that eats everything. But some people do, but they will end up, they know where they will end up. Yeah. So you will just look at it and from what you're hearing, you know what you need. You understand? You might not go there with an idea of what you need, but let the session also hit the hunger to know where the lapses are and you know what you need to plug into those lapses. So don't try to go with everything. Trying to go with everything is just going out, out there to have information overload. The best you do is to buy uh, that class was. That class was so when I meet people that say the seminar or the conference also, I say, okay, tell me what is it going to change in your business? If I can, if I can get clarity as touching what and what you want to do next and to change your business, then I would consider it as just uh, mere information. But I think usually that's where many entrepreneurs struggle. Mm. You know, it's in the implementation phase yes. of what you learn, oh. right? And Again, if you look at a lot of entrepreneurs, the reason why they struggle with implementation is because it's a mindset thing. Usually people are, are stuck in their ways and they find it very difficult to operate in a different way. Right? And if you are unable to actually change in implementation, no matter how much you pay, it's going to be a waste. You know? So I know very clearly that when we're going to EDC, I had, I mean, I've been running business for maybe five years. I felt like I knew business. And I remember very clearly saying on the very first day I was going, that, what are you going to teach us in business school? Oh. I remember it very clearly. Like, I wrote it down. And that very first day, I realized that I knew nothing. Because the first class was able to disabuse your mind about who is a tax avoider and who is a tax evader. Uh, there's tax avoidance and there's tax evasion. evasion. You know, that's something nobody will teach you. One is legal, one is legal. Right? And right from there, you decided to make sure that you were on the right side of the law. Right? And you can implement some simple things by yourself. Yeah. You know, so at the end of the day, what makes the business grow is what changes you implement. You can continue to complain that ah, people are not buying bread. That is, if we don't implement different strategies, nothing will move, right? And even from what the competition we've had today, there are a few things that if you go and implement, you will start to see differences. And usually, that's the difference between a, an entrepreneur that will win and one that will not. It's how quickly can you implement and how easy it is for you to just try it out? So, and, and that's what we try to do. Make people realize that this thing you know, is you that will still do it, too, but you have a support from around you. One thing I would like about what I heard about the one month uh, mentorship. I exactly. Uh, it's at least one or two people will come and roll do for me. And I yes. <laughs> 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 also, for me, if you look at that, you know, he was able to pick out uh, what he learned in taxation. For me, it was business strategy. Mm. I remember that business bio Yeah. I remember show that they stood up all of a sudden. What have I been doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, very instructive class. One thing, that same class, one major thing that I took out that has helped my life in business 
my personal life and business. You remember when he was talking about that you should never let any customer move beyond five percent of your total income. Yeah. Mm. Personal concentration. Buyer, so, buyer power over your business. Yes. So it means that if uh, you have twenty customers and you make say hundred million every year mm -hmm. or every month, and one person of the twenty customers gives you thirty million, you are in trouble. Yeah. Buy up our 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 buy up 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 buy So you have 20 customers, and one person gives you uh, what's it called? 30 million. 30 million or 100 million. So, what you need to do is that you would have to increase your sales turnover, your income. You have to step up your income such that that person's 30 million becomes 5%. Becomes 5 so, so, you have to get, yes, you have to get more people to buy. You, get, you have to create more channels. So that the, that person will not be uh, Exactly. Because you will demand more things, mm -hmm. you tweet. And you have to be able to find some hundred million people. Yes, because hundred million you are comfortable. It's always an invitation to be comfortable. You are giving them 30 million, 30%, 50%. Do you understand? You are giving them 30 million. But you have to just know that you are in trouble. You need to move it. Move your income. The target will just from one year to six hundred. And sometimes it's not even their fault. You might be paddy paddy with the person. Mm. Somebody will just say, "Yeah, no, now this is." And just ah, ah, the thing needs you. I mean, <laughs> what do you? 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 do you? What 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 do you? my own market, my target market. But then I have this one particular person that, so he gives me the flexibility that I just relax. I don't even do so much marketing or campaigns and all of that. Because I know that this person is in a week. I know what I get from the person. So suddenly the person starts demanding for different rates and then I have to just manage and say, oh gosh, if I lose this person now, it's gonna affect me. And now I've lost the person. Yes. And do you know what I need? Mean? No, because I lost the person, I know that I lost the person to someone else. So now what I did was I deliberately advertised on my statement that I want to train someone how to trade BTC so that at least I can get another portion from that person. Try to train the person that so that the person can train can start training by himself. Right. Look at what you have put yourself with. <laughs> like it's really crazy. So so at two up for me, anytime you know we have a client now that has been trying to dominate like uh, 20% of our annual income, you know, and it keeps giving me headache. And I've been looking at different ways to ensure that we make that person become like 5%. You understand? Over time, and you see, smart entrepreneurs, they know when they know when they are the ones of, uh, supporting you. Yes, sir. They know. Smart customers, you mean? Yes, try, smart customers, they know. You know that was the last time we gave you check, you changed your car. <laughs> 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 you get it. And of course, everybody, everyone, everybody wants to make extra profits. She would just can no way back. You know, I will go back and say, no, 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 we have to change our negotiation. No, we can't go keep going on like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to be able to. It's a deliberate act. That's why uh, agencies, you see that they manage account. I know many agencies that because the person they do in Guinness left. Yeah. And the person is they were just locked up. Yeah. Because some of them, they're just living on Guinness. The question is, is it that you can't live on other, you can't get other smaller, whatever you left. The time we spend with 50, this guy would easily give it to us. Ultima Studio, that does project fail. You know Project Fame. Mm. Project Fame. Mm. Project Fame started from Ogba. Mm. They made so much money from M10. Average budget every year then as well. I mean, three billion or so. Billion. You understand? 
So the guy got enough money to go and buy acres in Lekki One. In Lekki One. Lekki One. Sample. From MTM money, he built a. The day I went to that studio. If you go now, you will cry. Do you understand? You get. I was there last month. And. Now they brought in another show now. Yeah. But they are, you can tell that they are struggling. They are struggling. They are the ones, they are the ones, they are the ones handling family feud. When I entered, the last project film they did, when I walked in, ah, I've got to you this thing. I told my friend that to me, is you the project film? I said, they don't tire of saying Easy, easy. Say they are tired of talking to the MD. The guy will not look at them when they get to his office. This is how they're looking at them. So you mean I should start a TV station? I don't have time. You'll be regretting it now. If you go there, really. So since MTM left them, ah, MTM when 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 Fred has gone, they left MTM. They stopped everything. Yes, when they left them, they stopped. I don't. I don't. No, no, no. It's project fame and some other activities. I don't. It's existent. I don't know. I don't know. MTM was project fame. MTM was project fame. But they stopped. Yeah, who was there? Who was there? Who was there? The, the, the first thing was project film and take a big who no one here. Everything that was not by the charge card and stuff. Do you understand? It was crazy. So that guy's equipment style was his staff was still. No, he doesn't have. He, 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 the guy who steal his equipment, guy started using renting out his equipment. If there's nothing all good night, if there's nothing you will do, start to rent out the equipment, have a have a TV station, you know. Create your own content. Think of how to say it. Project film is another person's content that you do understand. Mm. You have the staff, you have the team, you have the strategy, you have the name, you have the channel. It's what they say about love of ease. There's this this thing that um, there's a what's it has this very short game about. You know, love of is the greater enemy yeah. than you applying yourself. Yeah. You can everybody pray for a great contract, mm. but because you've gotten it, does not mean you then rest. rest. Because yeah. the dangers in it, it can kill the entire business. We've already seen yeah. it. Yes. Case in point, Nokia yeah. used to be like the only phone. Now. Yes. Where is it today? Right. Blackberry used to be. Where is it today? Television station. You know. Uh, television brand. Samsung. Uh, you know, we are going to have to No, they are going to It's going to happen. No, they are going to have to Apple has. It's going to happen. Apple has. Amazon has. Yes. Netflix is there. They are, they are plenty now. You yes. just, just need to have a, an unlimited internet connection. And it's going to happen. It's already happening. 25. Yes. Yes. It's already happening. It's already happening. It's already happening. It's already happening. And you have a smart TV. Just go. You can watch channels uh, live. Anything you want to watch, yes, that you see on the STV. All, all of them are on YouTube. They are on YouTube. YouTube. There, there is even an app now that you can stream everything. Everything. There are several apps like that. Yes. So I'm sure. Like I'm sure the STV. You know, I'm sure they are smart enough to know what is going. Where I go, I would like to the STV to crash. You see, I think the natural challenge of not innovating and and getting better than yourself, which is. I think very very instructive for every business owner, right? Because DSTV will show you the same episode over and over and then someone comes out with unlimited choice, and then he'll be calling you that you have not seen. Yeah, why do you want to come back there? No, there was a day they come out how long for them. And the thing was goofy. They tell me. Okay, go. Welcome to the class of fire. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 She looks more like a lawyer. She looks more like a lawyer. My I don't think I talk. Two weeks of the talk. She looks more like a lawyer. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next month. Thank you. One of these is.
One of these, they bring your bread now. Have, have See, we should not be eating this. We should be, yeah, you be eating your bread. Uh, right? Uh, yeah, patronize me. How, yeah. how much is this part? Do you know you can you, you know you can do a uh, one going? And maybe beef and we'll bring bread. Bring the bread. This is expensive. I don't eat it. I don't the, eat the, the last, uh, the last uh, session we had, one of the people that came sponsored this thing. You want to sponsor the next yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I will think about it. Give me the budget too. I will look at the no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Ah, no, I don't yes. Ah. Yes, no. Yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. 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 Yes, I'm not going to do it. 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 I